Hey, your head, st your hair stands up nice. Yay! Hello. 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 That's Hello. better. I was trying to do Miss Doubtfire, but you know. Hello. Like to myself, that I know I can't. No, I'm not Robin Williams, and no one else can be Robin Williams. One of a kind. May he rest in peace. Well, I kind of personally think everyone has to. You're dead. <laughs> I love him. Well, yeah. Just... You know what I feel bad about a lot of Jeez. these people? They died not knowing if Trump would ever be kicked out of office. Oh, it's got to be a nightmare. Trump. There's people that when they're, they're there's like when people that their family members or like great grandfather or something was sitting there on like death's bed, but he wouldn't die. Because out of fear about the whole Trump thing being here, and it just like so, I told him he was being impeached, and then the guy would die peacefully. <laughs> Pretty sad. I share. Would you? I have more apples if someone wants to peanut butter. Apple eater over there. <laughs> yeah, I have some big apples over here though. I like apples. That's right. I like it with peanut butter, but not normally. It's not one of my favorite fruits. That, but I like those better than I do peaches. Peaches just overused. Now, that's not what this is all about, though. This is Marvel superheroes, not fruit evaluation game. <laughs> I thought it was such a fruit. Luna didn't get healthy actually. <laughs> do you need a calculator? Okay. Do you need dice? Everything? We got everything. Okay, because I'm covering it up so I can see this. Three by five. Stop that. I'm going to ask you to fall down. <laughs> Although that will probably be passed around. So we can get a good look at it. Because that's where you guys are going to be going. But first of all, there's an issue. Um, You guys just screwed up this house entirely. Did not. You, you like got rid of most of the people that worked here. Was it not fault? No, it wasn't. It was kind of thought, but, but it's also not your mission. So we're gonna move you guys to another mansion, closer to where you'll be going, but still be out of town. Oh, because you'll be going into the White Chapel District and looking for clues or something. There's something there that's supposed to lead us in the right direction. That's all we got so far. But, we will also deal with you going to a new home. I don't hey. like change! Change is bad! Yeah, you gotta fly your plane. No! Who's, dri who's going on the plane and who wants to just drive there on a I am... In, the, in a carriage. I will be in the carriage. Okay, anyone else for carriage and who's going on the plane? I'll um, go on the plane. I'm going on the plane. So okay, of course. Not going on the plane. <laughs> Make. I would rather keep my feet a control on the roll. Thank you very much. For your, your, your oh, plane. Yeah. What's your level? Typical. Until it's it gets a, updated. We got it. Good. Good. Oh, okay. What do you got? Eighty-six. Well, that's great. You take off. You're flying there. Um. Roll a die ten. It's like a random encounter. Five. Five. Oh no. <coughs> Who else is on the plane? You? Those Kay. three. Hey. Did you go to the plane? Or yeah. You <coughs> no, she went to the carriage. All three of you are on the plane. I'm, I'm, keeping my, I'm keeping my feet on the ground. Thank you very much. He's afraid he's too bad. We're not even sure we can get the plane off the ground anymore with Max. Oh. <laughs> You know, they used to make these things out of canvas, and you're walking around in there on canvas and balls. No, that was World War One. <laughs> and two. Um, some, yeah, especially wings. Because they're they're basically built around a fuel tank in the middle. Okay. Um, 
What'd you roll on the die 10? Five. You're all right. I'll check the random encounter. Basically, does a fighter come flying up? So shoot man. Who takes the guns in that case? Okay, that's I'm right. not letting her touch anything that's on right. my plane. <laughs> but she can just leave and go to the other plane. We found that out. <laughs> if she doesn't miss the spot. <laughs> <laughs> she teleports. Luna just made a pig noise. <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta land. But looking at the house and the directions you're given, <laughs> this house, half of it is right on the edge of a giant <laughs> moors swamp. Don't land there. Your plane will sink. <laughs> she made a yellow roll to land safely. Okay. You want to add karma? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna add. And you have a what talent? Special skill? You said remarkable pilot skill. Her uh, pilot skill is remarkable. Yeah, so you can actually add thirty points because you actually have thirty points of skill. Oh, so you, I sorry, can Queenie. What's you? Okay. Oh. Roll. Sorry, baby. And then add 30 to your roll. 93. Oh! That's after you added or before? Is that with I the added number? It. Yeah. Okay, so you rolled 60? Okay, I'll you just see if you top 100. Shoe. I got 93. If you top 100 <laughs> with you karma points, it actually shifts your result one column up. Okay, yeah, because I rolled 93. So. And then added 30 points. That's to karma, okay, go for so. the shoe. Would you feel better? Yeah, she'll feel better. She <laughs> poops at Bill's shoe. Because Bill stepped on her. But she's in the so. Okay. Everybody, watch out. Widow is underneath the table. I see her. I don't mean to step on her. That's okay. She's going to poop in her shoe. She's going over there right now. I got another set of shoes. Okay, just give her permission. That's it. I heard it. Now, to one of you, the road to Moorcrest might hardly be called a road. It winds through damp, hidden valleys like a narrow path, rising now and again to reveal the bracken covered moor above. A dense fog sets in on your journey, clinging about the coach. Few stone cottages lined the road near the beginning of the trip. Now, two hours later, you see nothing but land. The road ascends on a slope, escalating into the fog. A more crest manor comes into view. Intuition. At this point, you see the plane probably circling overhead, coming in for a landing. Ninety-four. So you guys kind of get there at the same time. We're gonna say. A few stone... Okay, wait, no. As the coach nears the house, two large black dogs come bounding down the hill at you in the cat carriage. The pair barks and growls angrily, snapping at the carriage's wheels. A third dog barks no, and whines noises. in front of the house, not, knowing, not moving past its spot, just sitting there, sitting, standing next to a, a lady. The horses hesitate and refuse to proceed, but Miss Bolton appears on the veranda and summons the dogs by name. Fritz! Manfield! Come! The dogs romp dutifully to their mistress and recline at the side. Anne Bolton is a beautiful young Englishwoman. Her round black hair <coughs> falls in waves above her shoulders. She is also General Sam's great aunt. General, that's why you're coming here. Um, her brown black hair falls in waves about her shoulders, framing her large green eyes. Her skin is a bit darker than the porcelain tone of some British women, but her cheeks show a radiant English blush that only a cool, moist climate can bring. Annie introduces herself as you, got, as you pull in, because the dogs are out of the way. Mm -hmm. They're very dutiful. Um, you got more of they are known as, um, 
try to remember the names. At this point in history, they're not called German or Doberman Pinchers. They're called Doberman Hounds or something else Pinchers. They haven't been like gotten to the name, but that's what they are. Rather big ones. The biggest one is the one that stands next to her that doesn't move around much. He's like almost head taller than the rest of them. I feel his pain. Um, and she just, okay, and all you guys can start showing up at this time. They'll come walking up. Uh, she introduces her graciously. But her dogs do not follow in kind. They growl at the PCs despite their protests. And uh, Miss Bolton goes off to take him to the kennel. Um, everyone make an intuition roll, but those that are dogs only need a green level, the rest need a yellow on your intuition. And this is good, and I got 71. That's still green. You didn't notice? Something about the dogs. Oh, man, you suck. I didn't make it either. 99. Max. Max notices one of the smaller dogs goes over to the bigger one, and then the other one goes on the other side, and they guide him to He's the blind. kennel. You roll high enough to notice something more than that. Um, he doesn't look to have eyes. Come here, baby. He's more than blind. His eyes are gone. He's got some scars on his oh, face. Oh, oh, oh come on. He's extremely blind. Yeah. Probably you okay? Go get daddy. Go get daddy. Kitty, 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 kitty. Go get daddy. Hashtag game of cat. The game of cat and pre gives her presents. Oh. Um. Excuse me. Damn it. That was for, uh... You wrote that from last time in the hero game. Oh. Yeah, I'll give, give it back and I'll give it to you then. No, no, that's Sunday. Yeah. I was just remembering that I had them. So, because I got to give her one later. But you, you owed one. Okay. I don't know what we could do in well, hero gaming. Hi, Guido. Hi, pretty kitty. Maybe we'll discuss it in our, when we do our live production show, what things we can do to interact with people into our show. Everyone that is subscribed will get notified when it goes on, so if anyone wants, anyone that wants to talk can as if they were members of the production staff. That's the idea. I'm opening it up to see what people, because I'm going for public access to YouTube, and I need like, to see what would be a good direction. What, what, what do we do that's right? The biggest thing we do is the role-playing game stuff. I just posted three other videos, and I got less than two view, ten views. I any combination of the two. You're happy. Okay. She's happy, I'm calm. Once inside, Bolton offers you guys, oh, brings you into the house. She goes over the door, opens it. It's not greatly lit. I don't want her falling. Just grab a mover then. She doesn't like it. It's for her own sake. You can't always do what's happy. <laughs> That's why I don't like too much. Right? Mom. Yeah. <laughs> she's afraid she's gonna have to go somewhere. Like be picked up, which cats really hate. Because oh. their heads are too big for that. <laughs> I don't know why she's sitting here. Come on. Crunchy sounds? Yeah. It means people are eating and happy and that's just something. She doesn't want to eat cereal. Um, as you all come inside, she says, I'm very glad all of you have come. Um, I'm sorry to say I don't have any servants in my home. My servants have left a long time ago. That's fine. But it's partially why I asked if they could send anyone out here. Um, because uh, it gets kind of creepy here at night alone in this big house next to the moor. So, um, I'm glad to have people here, even if they're only here at night. But, you know, just to, just having people around is nice. I, you know, I love my dogs, but can't always have them around with me all the time. The only one that's in the house is uh, one that she names Shadow. It's the bigger one of them. 
he stays like within a foot of her. When she moves, he's following. Sometimes bumping into her, but usually not. Luna will be here to run the clock for you to help out with you. We got to develop things. Well, I don't, I don't need, you know, caretaking or anything. I think we're all right, especially during the daytime. I don't have problems here. You know, at nighttime, it just kind of gets scary alone with, you know, no, no servants or anything around here. So, um, on the side, she offers all of you some afternoon tea. Um, if you want something to eat, uh, the, the pantry's open to you guys. Uh, I don't have a cook anymore. But if you need something, um, hopefully you'll all know how to take care of yourself. Right. Show me the kitchen. I'll cook dinner. She'll take you back there. Um, if you want to try, do you have any skill? Otherwise, just do a reason roll. Yellow to make a successful meal. What's your reason? I want, I want to eat good food. Oh. Roll. 97. Okay. No. It's still yellow, so it, it was good. It worked. So, first thing you guys got to do, the information you got from Prell was that all the clues pointed to the murders of Jack the Ripper. She's a very trusting kid for us. She knows we won't let anything happen to her ever. Now, Mooches. Hashtag happy kitty. She has her foot on her map. Oh! <laughs> I have to forgive you Get your foot off my map. Ooh, you want to start it? Oh. Throw an eraser at you. No. You can't even look like we know long. Yeah. yeah. Don't move. I am comfortable. Well, we need to be able to see what's under her foot. Well, if you get there. Now, for starters. You guys, again, need to, uh, you guys will go out, you decide if you want to go together or separate, or who's going, to search the Whitechapel district for any clues or anything. I'll go. Well, probably not go alone. I mean, they're expecting all of you guys to go, really. Fine. Now, the question is, do you guys go alone or together? Get dice for your people and put them where you want to start your search. Um, Does someone need extra dice? I have a whole bunch. Okay. Well, then you better, you best use your own because it's easier for you to be sure than it's your character. So, the blued out areas are buildings. The white areas are the streets and the avenues. Me and... Whitechapel was not built on a... Nice little plan. <laughs> Trixie and I will be a team. Skinwalker and Luna will be a team. Okay. So put us where you... What? You want to she might want to get some drinks on. Or probably have to put some bodies. Yeah, okay. you rub her belly long enough. Yeah. Okay. Um, on top of that, just to make things easy, I need every you guys to have dice sixes this time. Oh. Besides one use. You need more? I can give you. How many dice? Just one dice six. One give, more. Give me back those two. You need something else? I have a dice Because the dice six you'll need to roll for encounter checks. We're just going to use basic rules we usually do. As you guys are searching around. First of all, everyone should check intuition rolls. Well, no, let's start with the dice six rolls, actually. One dice six roll. Four. For everyone. Three. One. Five. What was yours? Okay. Then it's you. You roll one. Make an intuition check. And then you get to make one, too, because you're nearby. Forty-six. Forty-six? What do you want to die? Ninety-seven. I don't know. Uh, check your numbers. And ninety-seven? I guess I'll check yours. You're probably good. Do you have a what? Intuition? My intuition 
is good. I did not okay. make it. Those you need a 46. You made it? I didn't make it. You didn't make it. Okay. You. Um, oh, it happens closer to her. But she didn't pay any attention. She was reading a comic <coughs> book or something. I know, I saw that. Um, you ever buy some kind of what you can best guess to be some absolutely. kind of Ma and Pa grocery okay. store in the corner? And uh, you see a pair of small figures dodging out of the store as a middle-aged woman chases them screaming, Stop, thieves! The woman cannot catch up to the fleeing figures. We don't know we're not there. <laughs> so you're the first one to decide. If you don't inform anyone, no one will or pay any attention. We're off doing something we don't know yet. <laughs> I'm the um, magazine. Uh, see if I can transform into... Although they're shoplifters, you don't really need to transform into anything. Just go after them. But he wants to be fast about it. Yeah, be fast and knock them down. <laughs> uh, okay. Become a, a gorilla. Okay. Chase him as a gorilla. Oh, great. Make a shape change scroll. 93. Okay. 93 is good. That's you better than good. You are, uh... Chasing after him. Children dashed. Well, you didn't know that till now. Damn it. You make a speed on your. You're doing what, Cheetah? Gorilla. 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 So, speed wise, we're going excellent. Roll. Mm -hmm. 81. Why'd you roll three dice at the same time? I didn't do that. I just fell right next to it. 81, yellow. Okay. <coughs> You're keeping track of them. They have the advantage of knowing the area. And they run down an alley behind a store. Um, but as you get into that area, you don't see them anywhere. Make an intuition check. And what are you doing as he ran off as a gorilla? I wasn't going really to pay attention. <laughs> Yeah, magazine. Maybe she'll die alone. There Bill, what one's your dice? No. This one's mine. Okay, change him around. Put him going down that way. He's chasing him. Oh, mine matches these ones. Move your paper stuff. Okay. There. I matched my dice. That's fine. Uh, I'm not going to remember that. Maybe you. I got lots of dice. None of them match. <laughs> Even the white ones are all beat up differently. I used to have some wood dice. From a game. I can't remember which game. Board game. The real light. They're kind of weird. Okay. Um, did you make an intuition roll? Okay. 31. 31. Your intuition's typical or good? Good? Good. 31? No. <laughs> you don't know where they went. You saw them run down this way, but you, they're gone. What do you do? I guess I can transfer <laughs> into a wolf and see if I can find their scent. Okay, make a roll. Sometime... 73. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, you made the change now. Make a tracking. Go off excellent. I'm going to have to get you to roll a character for 87. The day. Okay. Okay. And I got You're doing good. Wall's gonna be here. Um, you find I know for sure that they there's a bolt hole in the back of the alleyway, a little like so one foot tall hole that they crawled through and escaped. Um, you might be able to fit down it. Make an agility check. Mm -hmm. You can also change stuff smaller if you have to. But a, a wolf could fit through a foot hole. A chunky wolf could. Yeah. Okay. You get down there, and it ends up taking you like quite a while to, you know, but when you finally get there, uh, you end up behind the Butler's Badger Bar and Grill. 
And the children seem to be gone. Can't find their scent? Mm. Make another roll on this side. Because this is also the trash area. 77. Okay, you found it. You keep following it. Yeah, it goes that way. Worm. Like uh, a couple buildings. There. Okay. Um, you think you see them sitting over there up ahead? Mm -hmm. Like they're just sitting there relaxing on the corner, like, haha, we got away with it. And you slowly walk over to them. Yes, sir. As a wolf? Mm hmm. Okay. Wait, you went from wolf. You went from gorilla to wolf? Yes. To track them. The, the gorilla doesn't have any tracking ability. Gorillas don't. They're just scary. <laughs> Got you one. <laughs> okay. People start screaming. <coughs> People in England don't like wolves walking around the streets. Yeah, well, looks like I'm going to have to transfer into a human again. Oh my god, that's even scarier! Roll. You're going to start werewolf stories in town. Um, why don't you find somewhere to hide you do it? You can't tell him anything. He did 66. It changed. Um, hey, everybody screams and starts chasing him. People kind of like clear out of the area. Um, they assume it's one of these weird things like Captain America and all those after a while. Um, one of the two kids seems to be impressed by it. The other one thinks you're stupid. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're going to change into something, why change into something as small as a dog? I've done a lot of other animals. I beat a dog with a stick the other day. And one says, shut up, Rocky. The other one's the older one. Was She's name a female. Wiggle? No, her name's Faith. Um, they're eating potato chips and drinking soft drinks. So what you like stole? Control. Uh, yeah. How'd you know? I followed you. Rocky's like, don't you have, like, Nazis to deal with or something? Well, stealing isn't a good thing either. Okay, um, how do you want to approach the situation with them? Generally, we don't need to go through the hole. Maybe other people won't have things happen to them. Just yeah, because it's getting boring sitting here stretching worms out. It's exercise. Devin, you want some stretchy worms? The ones that, what, you just stretch them and throw them in the bowl? <laughs> I don't eat them! No. I just stretch them out! No. <laughs> I gotta leave my belly empty for more stew later. Alright. Okay. But I might have some. It's there. a long worm! But then it's hard to talk. Okay. How do you want to deal with this situation with these kids? One's disrespectful, the other one is kind of impressed by your trick. Are you a werewolf? Not exactly. Before I eat them all, I'll throw them away. Rocky's like, he's like Black Shuck. Who? They both look at you. You know, the big ghost dogs you see. They can shape change. I've heard. But that's, you know, and you can do it too, so. So do you work on our side or theirs? I'm an American. Make up a psych roll. What's your psych? My psych is excellent. Excellent roll. It won't go back. Oh, yes, it is. I'm not sure, I'm sure. What? 93. 93, you're all right. <laughs> After talking to him for a while, you convince him that what they did was wrong. Um, and they could, you know, go back and talk to him and get it all cleared up. So, on that, you captured the children and turned them into the, well, you turned them into, you went and talked to them. Um, you did not injure the children. <laughs> and you had to return the stuff. So that's 10 points karma for you. Cool. 
Now I got clean glasses. I got one. <laughs> Shay! Hey, I always clean my glasses first. You don't copy me. <laughs> Show up and cause trouble to the power of Max. <laughs> Unless you want to bust prostitutes. <laughs> no, I think me, I think me and Miss Cigar in the bar getting drunk. <laughs> I'm supposed. We were supposedly watching. We must go off the store. Miss Cigar. No. You guys end the evening. And you've searched around. This may take a few nights here and there checking different areas. Uh, because there's lots of little nooks and crannies to the area you're having to search. So, you guys head back home to your temporary abode. And you boys go to sleep. No! Everyone roll a dice save. First, no one was hurt, right? No one is still hurt from before? Right. You should be full by now. Everyone Five. get back to full health. At the end of the game today. Five! Five! Yeah, three. Three? Six. Wait! And you? Five. Five. Okay. <laughs> now I need psych rolls. Ninety-six. Seventy. Four. Uh, two. Ah. Uh. Um. Now. You, because you failed. You have a bad dream that night. So if you were injured, you would have only gotten half healing this night. But you were not injured, so it didn't really affect you there. But I will inform you of your dream. You are in a wasteland, cloaked in fog. Sorry, I farted. A bird cries out, unseen, and you trudge forward in pursuit. You have a shotgun, and it's loaded and ready, drawn close to your chest. How do you know it's a 12 gauge? You can raise and fire at a moment's notice, and you feel completely in control. Breaking through the blanket of mist, a shadowy figure swoops down from overhead. Wrong again! It shouts. You raise your shotgun to blast the creature. Roll an agility check. 66, good. That's still green. Okay. Um, as you raise your shotgun to blast the creature, in a flash, the bird swoops down and wrenches the weapon from your arms. And yells, Nevermore! The bird flies away, holding <laughs> not a gun, but a stout tree branch, with one of the sharp one of the ends sharpened and pointed, like what used to, what was used to kill Dracula and what's her name? Mia. Your friend. The branch is barking like a dog. You grope for your missing rifle, in the corner of your eye, a huge black hound bounds out of the mist towards you, formed of almost, it looks like, dark force or shadows. With one leap, it lunges at your chest, snapping at your throat. You awaken from your dream in a cold sweat, screaming. Everyone else do an intuition check. Everyone else. See who heard you. <coughs> Everyone heard you and ignored it. No. So you heard it. With a good? Kevin. Yeah, you failed? No. Okay. <laughs> you, well, you sleep really heavy, I guess. Everyone else heard her scream. How's it going? Uh, you go back to sleep. No, Mommy, I don't want to go to school tomorrow. <laughs> Rolls back over. 
No, I told you I'm not a mutant. Leave me alone. No, I roll over. That doesn't go there, really. <laughs> it's falling off! It's falling off! <laughs> it's one of those really bad dreams. It's back old being locked up in the mutants with the mutants in the future dreams. Okay. Um, what do you do? What do you guys do that hurt her? I go over to the room and see if she's all right. Yeah. What do you do? I would tell them about the dream and like shake him. Okay. She tells you. She had a bad dream about being attacked by some dog thing and some, some birdie thing. Well, it was like stole her weapon. The dog thing is what attacked her. She could die! <laughs> well, you put your elbow in the red ink and it sticks to your elbow. Oh, so. <laughs> we saw, hey, we were at the store and we saw poke sauce. Yeah. Really? Oh my goodness. It's poke sauce. It's, a, it's an Asian sauce, so, you know, but it still looked like poke sauce to me. Do we throw this during the game at each other? Poke sauce! This makes an official greasy poke zone. Um, so, next day we have to do again. Do you guys wish to divide the same groups? Yep. And where do you wish to go? Excuse me. Put me in uh, Mystic up by this place. There? Yep. Is that good? Okay. Okay, check it on that side. We're going to go beat allies. Okay, everyone gets a die six roll. Wrong, guys. Die, die six. six. Square one. Square one. A die six. A die six. It's a square one. A square die. No, I'm looking wrong. Oh, I'm looking for mine. Couldn't remember what I put my dice. Three roll minus. Okay. What'd you get? A Three. one. Twice. Yeah, she's trouble. Can't let her go out in public. I don't want. Intuition trick for you two in the, uh, that pile. Two out ten. Yep, check your intuition. You have a good, and you can check yours. You have numbers. Over what do you there. got, Bill? 99. I didn't make it. Red for Bill. Red notices another problem. Bill's like, ha-ha, his steely detective-like eyes. And his, it's a trench coat and a hat that makes you see things. I thought these things yeah. would be better in my own She's just wandering around going, ah, 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 hopping around the corner. She, she's not. She's spaced out. She's like, oh, God. This job is so boring. <laughs> She's being a teenager. <laughs> Why aren't we driving the maze? Okay. You're the one that rolled. Um, you're in the uh, area of a grocery store, basically. And you notice several teenagers are writing um, things with paint on the walls. Vandalism. She walked right by and she didn't pay any attention. But I guess she thought it was normal. <laughs> Make her pay attention. Go over by a spike. <laughs> Take two, you troll her. little spikes. Uh, uh, what do you do besides complain about your pain? Um. Uh, I told you, you were healed. <laughs> you could choose to ignore him if you wish. Oh, I'll, I'll try and walk over and talk to them. Okay. Make her go with you. Yes. Okay, as you're heading that way, one starts to uh, paint on someone's car. Another smashes a uh, street light. And a third is slashing car tires, so they've come quickly, you know, gone up in problems. There are 13 of them, as it looks like. They're all wearing jackets with red tiger emblems on the back. It's Clockwork Home? No. Any 
characters with uh, do you have anyone with streetwise ability? Okay, mm -hmm. because you're not you don't know this area yet. No. Um, they are a gang. You just don't know their names. Crouching like tiger, angry kitty. I'm like, hey kid, you know you're breaking the rules, the laws here. Both of you guys make a psych roll. Go with your psych. Good. What? My psych. These guys are not very nice to me. And today. I got 96. Oh, I got odd one. Fred. seen her on in a while. I know. Um, so who seems to be like the leader comes walking up to you like, you know, what, you know, why are you sticking your nose into this old man? You seriously just call him old? <laughs> and, and what are you done up for? Some kind of Halloween thing? It's a little early. I am not dressing up Halloween. She's eight hours Sarah. Wow. Sarah Frank. Nice. Well, we'll try to entertain her for a couple more hours. Yes. So, don't take too much advantage of the break. <laughs> <laughs> break time. I'm going to go. No. So, he's insulting her, so. Yeah. Luna's getting sassy back. <laughs> Don't get too sassy. He pulls out a switchblade. Oh! Oh, shoot. Oof. Actually, I've got, because right? this is the wrong time. He pulls out a, uh, like an army knife, not a switchblade. Like, That's put that away. Mm -hmm. Says, what are you going to do about it? You should control your pet. I am not a pet! The, uh, gang thugs are starting to, like, circle around. No, look, they're going to have a dance fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dance off. <laughs> I know you want some. Oh, God, I have to fail. It's all <laughs> It's trying to not escape. You guys both, like, sizing him up. Saying what to do. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> talking which animal do you well, you know, Whitechapel's still got problems with gangs and things like that, so. Who's in the middle of the room? I'm gonna make a dark force base. Someone's baseball. in the middle of the base. Someone's in the middle of the town. Just standing there. Looks a lot like one of your dice. Oops. <laughs> just standing there. <laughs> what am I doing over here? Hey, this there. little thing here is like a bridge you can walk under. That's why I have the shadow under it. <laughs> it rolls over there. I'm making a Dark Force baseball bat. Dark Force baseball bat? I Go ahead and make a roll to make it. How about Rick? Mm-hmm. And how about you? Um, let's see, we get Luna and Skin and me, we need initiatives after this. What did you get? I got 89. I'm trying to try and make it into a rhino. Okay, you did I it. got yellow. Both of you guys rolled die 20 plus your bonuses. I got 15. 19. 69. 82. Hike. <laughs> Hike. You're faster. Oh. Um. I would, but I have no button. First to go is Skinwalker. You've become a rhino. Pink twerking rhino. You haven't even had It's been a while since I said I'm sorry, I can't help it! <laughs> what do you do, Mr. Rhino? <laughs> Just start ramming into a whole bunch of them. Start charging into them? Mm -hmm. Do a charge attack? What level of strength are you using? Um... I think you can use up to incredible on a charge. Well, what's his? Incredible. They're street kids. They're like four stats of good on the average. So I'm that'd be forty. Try and kill. I'm not gonna try and kill them. Okay. You want my advice? Because mm. I have to do this with Rampage mm. quite a lot. Okay, you're 
strength maxes out at incredible, right? Mm -hmm. I I would do excellent. And if that doesn't, you can slowly start building yeah. you now. Okay. And if it doesn't take them down. You're not full charge. You're kind of half charged. <coughs> yeah. yeah. You don't think they can hurt you much, so go ahead and make a roll on an excellent. Seventy-four. Seventy-four on an excellent. That is a yellow. Yellow, so that's a blunt attack. It's still a possibility of slam, which makes sense. Um, roll a die ten. Die ten. One nope. of the, one of these. Yeah. You already have one out. You, yeah. You better. Yeah, those. Okay. What'd you get? Nine. Oh, you hit nine of them. Um, and roll that twenty. Eight. Eight. So you did eighteen points. Yeah, I just thought I'd show that. Okay. So I don't kill them. And piece of advice let's with see. With a good yeah. and an odd eight, I'll say you slam them so they take that twice because they fell back and hit the ground. Um, six. Ooh. Yeah, they're, it, it kind of hurt. They're feeling a little sore from that. How about you? What are you doing? I'm just swinging my bat around, hitting as many as I can. Well, usually one at a time. You're fighting roll. What you're Five, fighting? Four, three, two. Didn't make it! Okay, you missed. Right, the air crackles as you swing your bat through it. Okay. Ah, uh, a bunch of them start to run off. Um, odd even. Odd. You. He decides to try to attack you. 73. The good hits. You take two points damage. Because he hits you with like a... Bleh. A, uh, <laughs> a burp. A burp. It's horrible. Most of the people, nine of them ran off. The ones you hurt, they were only down to four points left. But him and a couple of his capos, you know, bosses, are standing around to take you guys on. Ten of them until three. There's four left. So you have two apiece. Uh, I'm going to try and transfer it into... Have you seen the guy on TikTok? Uh, Pop Daddy? The gorilla. The gorilla? The, Do it. Is the oh, 88. Okay. I kind of envisioned that. And what are you doing? I'm going to try to hit more one again. Okay. 83. You're changing. That was a yellow. You hit, roll a die. What's your strength? Strength is good. Roll a die 10. Six. Ten points. Strawberry cloud. So, okay. Um, one, fifty-four. He stays. Thirty-three. He runs. Seventy-nine. And twelve. Two have now run off. There's two left only. Um, yeah, I have a habit of popping my knuckles. Could try to hit both of you. I need a. I have a habit of it. 46. 21 misses you. 19, 16 misses you. They're trying to stick out and cause troubles. One more week. So what? The end of the world? To you drive? Oh, yeah, okay. I'm sorry. 86? You 86 them? You kicked them out of the bar? <laughs> okay, yeah, roll a 20. Oh, Gorilla, you just hit them? Yeah. What's level strength? Same as before? Yeah. Okay, what'd you roll? An 11. So that's 21. 21. Okay. And then you. I'm doing the same thing I've been doing, swinging okay. the bat. Fifteen. You missed. And denied. Missed up six. 
and 27. We don't get to do anything. <laughs> you guys quit rolling encounters. I don't know what's going on. I'll give you something to do, I promise. Okay? Real soon. Back at home. <laughs> well, you're walking around with Max. How many people are causing shit? Everyone gets really polite and friendly. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. And eh, eh, stabbing someone else. Oh, excuse me. Am I in your way? He moves so he can buy any steps. I think it's not the way. Thank you. I, I was. I would have hurt myself with that, sir. <laughs> you're huge. Yeah, the guy runs past me after he stole a person. No wonder you're not getting any encounters. What is isn't anyone causing problems? I don't know, sir. We've all, we're all law-abiding citizens, I assure you. <laughs> and you mean it's Wearing a bloody apron back. or something, you know? It's Kim will come back and go all of our adventures. Okay. And the last one. <laughs> you stopped further vandalism. Um, Damn, we missed it. Do you guys continue to beat them up? Or do you, like, let them I'll run let them away? I let them go. You let them run away? I want to grab one of their uh, their jackets. Okay. Uh, the, the police me. will show up after a while because people have Sorry. reported people chase some wild animals in the area. Yeah, well, they uh, these are the guys from these jackets were the ones making the... The tiger blood. More of them ran game. off. Well, most of them ran off. I don't see, you, have, you don't have any of them here. The rest of them go away. I see. Well, you don't lose 30 points because if you do not do anything, you lose 30 points. But, um, stopping further vandalism, uh, you didn't turn anyone over to the police. We gave evidence. Each of you guys get 10 points apiece. Okay. And another boring goddamn day for you guys. You guys go home. Hey, we have to guess what? Come on here! <laughs> okay! Dad! I stepped her out of Dad! Out of trouble. You took her to trouble. I saw it. <laughs> There's trouble everywhere. Okay! You can give that letter back to Devin. Oh, that? You can keep it if you want. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> It's a piece of memorabilia of his future. He'll put it in his in his museum of accomplishments in gaming. Okay. I need. I need. I need to be free. You guys get back to the house. Everyone roll a dice six. Two. Two dice six. Eight. She spent most of the day. That's putting six, together four. a meal for everyone. Oh. Yes. It's an encounter check. Hmm. Keep your dice six out. Yeah, keep it out. It's going to be used a lot in this. It's, it's what three. they call for, and I'm just using the same. Three? You get nothing. About time. How about you? Bill? Five. Five? Yeah, but you two. Two, two. Two, two. Mm -hmm. Two, two. Two, two. Like that we does. <laughs> Okay. Not that. And a psych roll from all of you. Honored. Okay. Seven. I didn't make it. That's your dominant. Okay. Again. That I didn't sense. make it. Because that has two numbers on it. That's yeah. your dominant. Okay. What'd you get? Hard. Well, then I guess we'll have you. Anyone else roll 100? I got 70. No, I got, nope, I got an 80. Okay. I got 26. First of all, you guys have a beautiful turkey dinner. She made like a Thanksgiving style dinner. Um, lots of butter. Learn for the Julia Child's system of cooking. Well, also they used a lot of butter because they didn't have much spices during the war. It was a cheap way to get a lubricant on their their dishes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Did that hurt your your nose? You just kind of ripped out there, tearing flesh in the process. 
<laughs> I do that every once in a while because I'm not fully here. That's yeah, alright. <laughs> it's a good thing she doesn't have her nose pierced. Because that ringworm went flying. <laughs> I, I still have the pen. <laughs> she no. Gave me I gave her a worm. Oh, that kid. That okay. Is incredible. You. That's why I'm not fully here. What? You're having a dream. You walk into a parlor at Moorcrest Manor. Oh, not that type of dream. And you find, yeah, the one with the guy with the towel, the towel boy? No, that's Edo. Fuck you. And find the room littered with human limbs. Three Doberman stand beside the mutilated bodies of your fellow team, lapping blood from the floor. Quickly they turn and see you. In unison, the dogs spring forward, snapping at your throat spewing drool and blood. You wake up screaming, everyone make an intuition. Oh wait, intuition rolls are already made, right? I don't scream. It's a bad dream. Like, like a, I'm not a bitch, I don't scream. Like a Cymbalter dream. You scream, no dog, no! <laughs> I yell, I don't scream. Okay, he yells very loud. Everyone who, who made an intuition check? Everyone did. Okay, everyone hears it? Did you not? No. You rolled a 67. That makes it. You only needed a green. Yeah. So it's fine. I must have misread my dice then. That's fine. We'll go with the 67. You made it. So otherwise you're going to hear anyways. Because I looked over and saw the 67 on your dice. Yeah. You that's why. It. That's fine. I'm half asleep so I probably misread it. Could have read it backwards. Then it would have been 76. Oh. Um, I really am. You hear Max scream. I don't scream. dogs. I'll run in and see what's going on. And I punch her on accident. Make a fighting roll. Good lucky 48. Fighting's what? Oh, should I still hit? Yeah. With the green. It would just take you one point damage. Yeah. It was a family friendly kit punch. Slap. I'm manly! Wrong, sis. You're a little relaxed. Like, seriously, cuz! Okay, <laughs> what do you do when you wake up? I got. <laughs> crunch, 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 okay. crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> Everyone needs another intuition roll. Everyone. That's what I hear. Another one right now. When I watched Sunday game. 66. 66? Oh, the doesn't pick up all that chewing. No, no, I don't think so. 89? Ooh. I got 41. 41 is probably still good enough to make a green? Yeah, I tell them about the fucking green. No? Yes? No? Okay, how about you two? I got a 35. You all hear a oh. dog howl from the moors as you wake up. And then Anne comes in. Are you alright? Trying about three Do Dobermans to kill everybody. Oh, Fritz and Manfred wouldn't hurt anyone. If anything, he, they protect me. But, you know, don't worry. They're not in the house, except for Shadow. It, it wasn't your dogs. Make an intuition or reason check. 99. Okay, you have said that to assure her, but inside your head, they were her dogs. In your dream. What? So, he's very angry. Who else is in the room? I am. Just you? No, I'm there. Okay. You're there too? Yeah, everyone come into the big bedroom and see what the big man's screaming about with his two beds. <laughs> you probably got two beds laid next to each other and you sleep across them. I stole her bed. She sleeps <laughs> in the darkness. Floats on a, on a shadow. A shadow of the bed's still there, because she do things with shadows. Matt's why you you do stuff. The same time you made that a bench, sound, a shadow bed. My fucking chip broke. <laughs> Apparently your chip doesn't like him. Well, you had a, a, a dream about dogs. I had a dream about dogs. Too. Um, that's Who not uncommon. That's not. It wasn't the just war. Dogs. It wasn't the war that scared people away. Everyone's been having dreams.
dreams about dogs. And then those accursed ones out in the, out there in the moors don't help. This is everyone come onto the den all surti and we'll all relax. We'll get you sleeping again. Get you some night time sleep. Sleepy time tea. But we'll get it for you in a pitcher. You get a pitcher to drink out of. Everyone else gets cups. Because you're big. You need to drink an equal amount in, in comparison to your body size. She sits down and says, um, it began several weeks ago when I started to suffer horrible nightmares. I still have these dreams every night. Sometimes I dream of a wolf attacking me on the moor or of my own dogs, like you saw, tearing me to shreds. Of course, I know my dogs are loyal friends. They were a gift from a friend in Germany. Doberman dogs is what they're called. But still, I used to keep them in the house at night but now, because I'm not too sure about, you know, and how comfortable you guys are with them, and they, they seem to react weird when you guys came, but I think they're being overprotective. But I keep them in the canal, except for, sh you know, Shadow, who we keep inside since his injury. Um, you still just see Shadows with her. Well, can I go out and check on your dogs? Uh, sure. <coughs> you go out there? Okay. First thing you see right away is they're not barking at you. They start barking after the other one barked. They're like barking at the fence in the direction of the moor. They want out. <coughs> they're trying to chew on it and stuff. Which is wood. They didn't have chain link. I'm going to pick them both up. Bring them inside. Okay. Um, make a psych roll. Okay. Um, they both get kind of really crazy by trying to get away. Although you have a lot of strength. But you're kind of afraid you might hurt them if you keep holding them. Until you hear the loud bark of shadow. And then they both go limp. Not like dead limp, but you know, you're carrying them inside. Let's They're not fighting it anymore. Him. He's the oldest one. He's got a gray on his fur. He's like the alpha male. Yeah, until, well, she says, you know, he was until, well, his accident. He got hurt out on the moors. That's why I think they're all angry. Um, mostly you two. Roll dice on an intuition Percentage check. Percentage dice. Intuition check. Bill, what's your intuition? Intuition. She did not make it. She did not. A 50. Okay. He made it barely. Okay. You realize something. <laughs> the marks on its on his face, Shadow's face, which is still healing, it's still red, um, were not from a dog. It was from something grabbed him and ripped him out. If you had to guess, being a shape changer, a large bird took him out. Shall we go hunting? Yes. Um, he says, uh, uh, uh so you bring in the dogs. Mm -hmm. She says, well, if everyone's all right with it, that would be fine. So, and then I'll continue on. Just a week or so ago, the howling began every night of her mournful cry, like he's hurt. A wolf or some kind of hound rising from the moor. I haven't heard many dogs out here because, well, you know, most wolves in England have been killed by now. We didn't like... We didn't like them. <laughs> but as you see, I wish they hadn't. I still have my hounds. Shadow I've had since a puppy. The other two were, were a gift because she knew I had the one. Um... Uh, you two, or you, make a psych roll. Me? Yes. Yeah. <coughs> Eighteen. Yeah. Okay. Shadow comes over to you. Starts sniffing you. 
I just stay still. Okay. He sticks his nose up your butt. No! No! He yeah. flinch. He seems alright. He's just next to you. Kind of like work you out. Look at you. Can't look though. But you see the damage done to his face. Yeah, obviously he wasn't a wolf. Um, yeah, at night sometimes I can hear them leaning against the kennel. I've seen the fence like bent, trying to get out. One night my large dog Shadow, of course, broke the latch on the gate and escaped. I found him the next morning on the moor. Poor fellow had no eyes left, only empty sockets, as if something had gouged them out. Okay. You guys want to go check things out? Yes. Ah. I want some action. You go outside. Full moon. The following occurs shortly. Or, um, full moon looms larger than normal, glowing softly in the mist and fog. Somewhere deep on the moor, a long, painful howl arises, harmoning with the wind. Um, you hear some barking from the house. Terrible urgency lies in the dogs back at the house's voices, as they cannot bear the sound of the howl whenever it comes off. Uh, like, an, like, a, like an ambulance pisses off dogs and they have to make noise. They howl. They're trying to cover. <clears throat> well, just in case, one of us has to stay here. Well, I do have the dogs. But, you know, I, I wouldn't mind some company, too. You know, whichever way you want to take. I do feel safer now. Does anyone want to stay behind? Is that it? Or does everyone want to go check this out? I have a way. Pick a number between 1 and 10. Um, yeah. Seven. Five. You get to stay at the house? It's always you. It's a long moon up! Boy, a teenager. We're afraid you go crazy. Sorry, but that's the number that I was thinking. <laughs> I read your mind. <laughs> okay. Everyone learns to... Everyone do an intuition check. Always put on everything left behind. 94. 63. 90. 60. Didn't make it. Didn't make it. Uh, 54. Okay. Typical. Yeah, I didn't make it. How about you guys? Who made it? Everyone else made it? Yep. You go out and search for the howling creature, I assume? Yep. Once outside, you hear the full intensity of the dogs barking at the canal, but you also hear other dogs, like on farms. Those cabins I told you about. The source of the fury is self-evident. Before you stands, um, or, oh, did you guys all make your interest? So, before you suddenly stands a giant, luminous green man, perhaps fifty strides away. What do you guys do? Fucking swamp thing. No more looks like a. Oh, I'd say green like a ghost, like glowing. I'm gonna try talking to him. But looks like a person. I'm gonna try talking to him. Okay. We'll make a psych roll. Eighty-four. Okay. He turns and runs when you start to speak to him. I'm gonna track him. Okay. 99. He has no smell. He well, fades then we're away. just gonna. He goes about 10 feet and fades away. And now you're sure it was some kind of ghost thingy. Because it shouldn't. There's. It had no track. It physically. You can say with your monstrous intuition. It physically was not there. You can find no proof to it. You know what you saw, but you didn't smell, didn't hear, couldn't feel. You're all crazy. You're seeing things. 
I blame the last encounter. It's Dracula. He's been in your heads. And in your beds. Julia. <coughs> what? Don't remind me. <laughs> no, just me. at me. Who was the one that was going to turn into a vampire? You didn't have it that bad. <laughs> uh, I got scratched on the thigh. No, you got bit on the thigh. Or bit on the thigh. Yeah. I was a turned into a vampire. She Both of you guys got the same thing. What she puked about? up a freaking slug. Okay, hers is worse. Yeah. And, and she still had, like, enlarged fangs. As long as you don't bite me. Okay. A little further in the swamp. You three make an intuition check. 94. 40. 64. Okay, he reappears, a hundred feet away, watching you, holding a lantern, like he's looking for something. I'm gonna walk up to him. He's about a hundred feet away, so you run to him or, or walk? Just walk. Try to be nice and calm about it. Uh, make an agility roll, because you're walking in sludge. You, you could, like, sink. 92. Oh, you find some good spots on the lantern. Let's walk. He does seem to put the lantern, like, where the... You know, solid landings is pointing it. But then as you get closer, he disappears again. You make another roll. You failed your first one. 100. Okay, you heard this one. A blood curdling scream of a woman cuts through the night air. I'll run and see if I can find what's going to find who it was. And rolls across the moor as though it might. Be heard in London. Back at the house. Um. You, you're you're already there though. Okay. Um. You look around. Yeah. What'd you roll the sound? Oh, hundred. I had hundred. You heard the sound. Um. Do an investig. See if you can find out what happened. Anything that looks weird. Intuition roll. The more, the higher the uh, column shifts, like yellow, green, red, is more information. Green. Okay. You go to the front door, and there's lots of scratch marks on it, but it's open. I'll go out and. See. I'll go to the woman and be like, did you just, did no you just there. what? Oh. But she was inside the house. Yes, she was. No, she was, was in the house. Yeah. And she lost her because she failed the first intuition roll. She excused herself to go to bed. She wants to stay up. I'll go outside and look out. And then she was out looking around and stuff, and then... Um... What are you doing? I go outside and see if I can. What are you guys doing? Anything else. We're going to keep exploring the, uh. The, the, the moor? Yeah. And ignore the scream? Well, I mean, she's there. I'm doing investigating. Intuition roll. Green again. Okay. You've wandered around and you found footsteps. First, it looks like there were footsteps of the dogs. And then, there's her footprints. Like, maybe they bust open the door, and she went to chase them down. <clears throat> I'll follow them, the footsteps. Okay. Uh, you don't know tracking, so another intuition roll. Yellow. Ooh, I'm 98. Maybe we should go back to that Ooh. House. Uh, well, after a while, cool. you guys run into her. She's, you see her up ahead, walking around the moor. What are you doing? There was scratches on the front door and footsteps. I was seeing if I can find out what's going on. I'm going to see if I can see these footprints. Okay, roll. Intuition? Yep. 
93. Okay. Yes. I'm yes, gonna track them. Okay. Um, you track it to a craggy area, spotted with mud and brambles, which lies not far from the Bolton property. In darkness, the area is treacherous to ne negotiate. Everyone makes an agility check. It's at the edge of a cliff. 87. I made 99. Okay. 93. She does not. Okay. She does not? Nope. Um, <coughs> make a agility roll to catch yourself. <laughs> she makes it. Okay. But you're worried you don't know if you can go down. You, you, you almost fell that time. What do you do? I wanted to stop myself. <laughs> okay. So you just... But you're you're not falling anymore. Do you continue? Do you want to change? Okay. Bad. Okay. Uh, you'll need another agility roll then to okay. continue down. You make it. Okay. And in the fog, such as uh, well, on the cloak that night, of course. Um, what the hell? Let's get this out of order so it makes it really fun and hard on me. Ah. There's the fog. <laughs> Fog rolling. She's helping. She's making it realistic. Mm -hmm. So much for that. Okay. Ah. Whew. Think we're here. Yes. Um. We're done there too. We'll get there. Okay. Now, in yes, the, the as you start to come in, the sunlight's starting to come out. Because you guys, this all started pretty late at night. You spot the Dobermans gathering up ahead. They stand in a semicircle, whimpering. Of course, Shadow's sitting there in the middle. And the other two are like sniffing around the area. As you approach, the object of their attention becomes clear. Lying on the ground is the dead Anna Bolton. Her throat has been torn out. But the blood now smears her chest and shoulders has long ceased to flow from the wound. The dogs lick at her mistress's face, but her expression of horror never changes. Norman's growl at you defensively, then continue to, to whimper about it, like, you know, do something. Well, is there any tracks around her, other than the dogs? Check. 97. Yes. <laughs> Big dog. Then let's follow those tracks. Okay. Roll. 96. Okay. Good enough to basically give some information about this thing. Whatever it is, weighs and has the spread across the chest like a bear. But it's a dog footprint. Goes about 30 or 40 feet in the mud. And make an agility roll. Which means something max. 92. 92? Okay. And then you sink into the mud. The path went right over it. Disappeared because it's like. See, first of all, quick sense of myth. Um, people get stuck in it. But after a while, your weight will turn buoyant. You know, so. But some people can't swim at all. Um, it's But it's mud, bogs, like bodies have been hidden in every years. Uh, it's gone. And the track was getting weaker, almost like that ghost did. It just disappeared after a while. But this thing did it over, like, it, it led you to drown. If you were six foot tall, you'd be under the water. Well, I know where I'm going to be posted up, waiting for this fucking thing. So, it tried to lead you to a trap. 
Um, everyone do a reason check. 100. 24. 64. I got red. 99. 99. <coughs> red. Nothing. What'd you get? I got a 64. She got green. Okay, we'll start with the green. Which kind of we had? Well, actually, we've already had this one, so I'll move it up. The characters notice animal tracks around the corpse. You found those. Okay. A green, moderate success. Characters notice the tracks belong to a dog. So you can tell they're dogs. Um, a yellow, you too. We got red though. Yes, but you got yellow in the process. The character notices that there are four sets of tracks. So there's four of them. Well, no. Three are smaller. Three are the dogmen. The fourth set is the one that stuck out. That's what that is. And complete success, red. Determined that one set of the tracks was left by an animal twice as large as the other dogs. That's what we had to check. Your, your tracking kind of told you that, but everyone had a chance to find that out. Uh, but you have an additional, because you used tracking skill, and I didn't notice until right now. Character who uses tracking skill obtains the following information. Um, make his tracking roll. Hi, Squeezel. Hundred. Hundred. You get them all. Okay, limited success. We go through these. They go limited, moderate, high, and complete. That's how this game breaks it down. Not Marvel, but chill, actually. Which reminds us of Tunnels and Trolls and Chill. Yes, I will be on the 31st. Uh, <coughs> a haunting game. Damn yeah. Studio Spooktacular. I still like it. <laughs> Tunnels of Trolls and Shit. Yep. Okay. Are you alright? You back with us? Oh, yeah. Little success. Three sets of tracks near the body clearly left by the dormants. The f moderate was a four set of tracks resembling a large dog or wolf. Okay, twice as large as the other. Yeah, we got that. All four animals came from the area of the house. And the tracks of the largest animals lead out of the brambles and then disappear suddenly, which is where you found that. Okay. Um, but it is a slightly larger wolf than she is, and she's a large wolf. We're talking like, like I said, weighs like a, like a bear when it's walking, but the, the pattern actually got lighter as it entered the brambles. Oh, <coughs> I know what I'm going to be doing. Okay, next day. This is morning. Please show up. Deal with situations. It won't affect your guys' living any because um, you're not being hunted by Dracula here. It's not really that kind of an issue. Um, an animal attacks are rare, but they do happen. Uh, but I'm not gonna fall for an old, old, you know, old Shuck story. You know, there's a common. Next day, searching the streets. You guys still gotta go back to that. Put yourselves in places. Back where we were. Still there? Yep. Okay. Roll. Where do you guys go? Six. I'm stuck with him, so okay. I'm gonna look. Let me go, what? A six and four. What'd you do get? Roll die six. Die six, Bill. Two. Three. Three! I got two. Two! Wow. <laughs> it's your guys' turn. <laughs> Finally. Yay! Good. I want to see you. You don't need to fucking stare at me, though. Um, but, cool. No, no, you no. Back no. Uh. She's wondering if it's time yet. <laughs> she <over -talked. laughs> Okay, you find out. Um, 
also, well, both of you two make an intuition roll. Fourteen. Fourteen. Twelve. Okay, you notice. Um, on the street, <coughs> you notice a young man pulling hub hubcaps on a military vehicle. The young man has three hubcaps stacked near him and is jimmying the fourth one with a crowbar. throws a hubcap at you. Take five points damage. I pick him up. You want to grab him? Yep. Make a grab roll. That would be on... Uh, strength. Staring <laughs> bail down. 82. Okay. You grabbed him. He tries to run. And... He hits you with a hubcap. In the face for 10 points damage. There's a ring. Probably that's a face. Hey, at least he can break my grandpa's it nose like nose. any old guy with some broken nose. I take the hubcap away from him. Okay, he's got one left. <laughs> Do you want that one too? I want to kick yeah. that one away. You take that one away too? I'm going to kick that one away. Both make a fight. Make, both of you make a strength roll to grab him away. Or kick him away to use a fighting roll. <gasps> Six, I know, 46. 92. You're probably both good. You have disarmed this fan of Captain America. <laughs> He's still that guy, though. <laughs> he does not make it to the alley and escape. What do you do with him? Take him to the cops. Okay. Capture the thief, turning, out, um, turning him over to the police is a plus five. Or plus ten, sorry. So, you guys get 10 plus 10. Now, you make a roll. 90. 90? First of all, mark off the ones I know I've done. Okay, 90. You notice something. You're mad. <laughs> No. You notice. <laughs> Mom, quit messing with me. <laughs> what time is it? 8.55. She's crazy. It's you got hour. five minutes before you go outside. She's about to go. <laughs> your tail. Okay. Five minutes. Hey. You looked across the street after you're done with your little situation. You I'll see a bookstore. <laughs> you see Arthur's bookstore. Remember him? The guy that helped you with the uh, vampire information a little bit here and there. <laughs> yeah. He's in this area of town. I'm going to go see if he's there. Okay. Talk to yes. him about the... He's uh, there late at night. Talk to him about the dog. What kind of dog? Big one. Disappears. Really? Yep. Like large as in black? Yes. Yeah, we're, the woods get thick with those things sometimes. Some say the war breaks them. They kind of like suffering. Well, one of them killed our hostess at the. Uh, There's actually a lot of options. Place. I mean, we can go back to Celtic mythology. And the hounds of the hunt, and they would are usually lost sometimes. Um, there's some that are helpful. They'll help people like not drown in the swamps by uh, giving you by leading them 
it's a safe path. But in my experience, I had a situation with old Shuck. Black Shuck. I think this is the one that killed Anne. So it's actually killed someone again. And Britain? Well, um, I haven't had a chance to see the news yet. I, I kind of get busy. If it's not over 100 years, I don't really pay attention too much. But well, um, in that situation, what happened was during a storm, it'll be soon, Guido. <laughs> during a storm, a large black dog busted into a church and actually attacked people there. Some say that it was because what do you expect? A large wolf can be scared by a storm and accidentally, it doesn't know what building it is, and just started attacking people and it got scared. Um, I didn't find that to be quite the case. I couldn't track him because he kept disappearing on me. That's what this one's doing. Okay. Still, we have a couple options. Um, I know I have some here. And he starts looking around, and he says, dogwood. Um, I've got a sprig of dogwood here, and he pulls it out of a box and gives it to you. Uh, if it seems to, it, it's only afraid of two things, dogwood, which can harm it. Otherwise, it's like fighting a werewolf almost. Almost like a werewolf ghost. But also, oddly enough, if it's what I think it is, it's a bargast. And they're afraid of dogs. Have you seen anything about that? <coughs> well, I mean, for being what it, dogs know, it's not really a dog. Out at the place that we're staying. Yes. There's three Doberman hounds. Oh, that's a, a nice breed. I've heard lots of good things about One of them, them is older, but his eyes were ripped out of his head. Uh, that's not a good thing. Was it, like, the owner or anything? or? No. And went out and... Went out into the moors. She found it in the moor with his eyes gone. Well, it could raise questions as why did it let it live. And then the other two are younger and they're constantly barking oh, yeah. at night. If a dog hears the bargast, it will like, no matter what size, it'll start to bark. Thing is, actually the smallest dog can chase one away. Well, when we found Anne last night, they were all three around her, whimpering. Hmm. <clears throat> and, uh... So she must have gotten separated for them. Because if they were there, it would not have approached. But it would have done everything it could to get them lost. To separate them. Okay, well here. Take this brig of, sprig of dogwood. If it works, I might be able to find something more permanent to deal with it. I currently don't have anything though. What we need is a dogwood stake. See, before the church showed up, like wolves and wolvesbane and werewolves, dog and dogwood. Um, the wise women gave them names that would make sense to us. So this is what we have. So take this, good luck. And I'll go get right on seeing if I can find you some. I don't know if any of the shops around here or any of the yards have dogwood. It's not a commonly used wood, but it's very useful. And very expensive. He kind of like wanders off looking at books and stuff, seeing you know what what he can find. Well, we know what we gotta do. Mm -hmm. So, everyone heads home. Yep, break time. Okay. Weedy! Oh, oh! Before you leave, he tells you. 
Um, I have some information for you I found. But it's going to take me a little bit to get set up for you if this is the right direction. In regards to Jack the Ripper. So, you know, you need to know about old Saucy Jack. That's what we thought. Most of the folks that come through this door want to hear tales about the leather apron. But we know you need something more. But I found out in checking with some of the constables, um, just truly, you know, they never caught old Jack. He tore through five women, they proved, depending on who you ask, butchering up to six others before disappearing into the fog nearly 50 years ago. But I remember the fear that crept into our minds every night as we lay down our worry heads. It was sheer terror for months in Whitechapel, never knowing when the Ripper would turn up again. Well, here's the thing. Some say the Ripper has returned. Uh, there's been murders over the years, some of them outright. Copycats of the Ripper's murders. But if you want my opinion, and that's why I assume you're here, the one true Jack finished off his work and then faded away after, out of existence. But there is a fella now, though, that came out of nowhere claiming to be the old man Jack. There have been confessions all over the place for decades, but none held up but this fellow. If the stories are to be believed, knows things that even the most astute followers of the murder wouldn't know. There are still secrets only a few know. Crazy bastard knows them all. But I'm going to have to get you more information on that. I've got to talk to the constable, and maybe we can get you an interview with him. Sounds good to me. So we will see you tomorrow. Yep. Ash <clears throat> will come by before you uh, go on your tour around. We don't. We don't think actually. If this is it, what's on the streets isn't going to help. Besides the crime and punishment and everything. So now it's break time. Weedy. Break. In the shadow of evil. Kitty, kitty. Oh, I love you. Excuse myself. Wait, come on. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, here she comes. No go. I'm trying to get my legs to work. Take care of the poor doggies. Hannah's gone. Hey, sis. Looks like you suddenly became the dog sitter. Well, yeah, because one of them. Well, they like you. They try. 
trust you. They don't trust. You, know why. you huh? can actually change to a dog and probably communicate with them. That you think about that. You question what they saw. Yeah. I couldn't do that. You can speak to any canine. Okay. There's a fox fall under canine. Uh, actually, a fox is a cat. Okay. And a cat finally. So it's a feline. That doesn't sound fun.
scared people. You really think? You all right? Yeah. Sweetie. Oh, yeah. Come on, this direction. Okay. Come this way. It's just so All I was trying to do is... Uh, we, need, we need... <coughs> Bill. Well, you guys can sit down. That's what I was sitting over here for. I was letting her get through before I... I just kicked in. Just didn't feel good? You puked up? Is that what you did? It happens. There's some delicious soup over here. There's tomorrow. You have some tomorrow if you want it. I unplugged it so it won't, you know, overcook or anything. Because I think we'll overcook stuff. Now to get the little fainty back from break time. <coughs> that and all gorgeous. I hope someone didn't go smoke during their break. Yeah, Lisa. Keeping an eye on you. <laughs> but I don't want to gorge myself and make myself purge. Understand. Hey, so you guys go back home that night. Take it away. Is it empty or dead? Okay, we don't need to see food. It's disgusting. <coughs> okay. Um, you get back to the house, everyone make an intuition no, check. Yeah. You can't put those over there. Or you don't want to get the Just get them off the table here. Green. Green. What do you want? Intuition. Intuition? Yes. 90. Wow, Amanda, roll 100. I guess we get it. We let her live. <laughs> this time. Okay. Well, you can be special and have it happen. Um, you guys, who wants to make dinner tonight? And who wants to take care of the dogs? They're hungry. I'll do the cooking. I'll take care of the dogs. Make a reason check. Both of you. Intuition. My intuition is good. I got a 77. 77. And Green. Green? How about you? I didn't do anything. Intuition check. For what? Just noticing things. Hard. Weird things. Okay. <coughs> Where do you let the, the, the dogs stay? In the kennel or in the house? In the house. Okay. <laughs> um. That won't get did it. make the roll they can see it too. It was just a yellow. What'd you have? Uh, None of them rolled. I had everyone roll intuition rolls. Oh, they didn't roll. I got 17 so I failed. I didn't see you roll Bill. Yeah, and you have a good? Yeah. That's a green? I got 17. Oh no that's a yellow. I failed. I'm taking care of the dogs. Okay so you don't well you'll have to go to the kennel then. They're in the house. Yes but the food is outside. Is in the kennel. Um, and as you go out there, you will see no, you have to go eight to the to get the food. large ravens or crows. Ravens, actually, because they're large. We look, I, I watched the thing on the difference. Ravens are just larger and like more like matted looking feathers. Crows are the pretty of the two. 
Crows are the models. Crows are the pussies of the two. Yeah. And 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 the, the ravens the, the the mafia boss. Little rough looking. Feathers going the wrong way. They're uh, perched on there, looking over. One is particularly enormous, sitting on the gate, while the others sit on the actual fence. So you'll have to open the gate, which he's resting on, to go get the food. Let me go first. Okay. <clears throat> um, it opens. It's not, you know, no problem. It wasn't locked or anything. And uh, the bird just sits on it. Watches, just watches you do it. Just watching intently. Leaning and watching just you now. And I'll stand right in front of it. Okay. Eyeing it down. So who's at the kennel? You three? No, those two. What are you doing? I'm getting the food for the dog. Wait, these two are inside me doing? and her are at the kennel. I'm just inside and You're inside again. Out. Reading books. I found so. <coughs> hey, you want to do something? Yeah. Um, there's a library in the house. Oh, I can read. Yes. Do you have your phone? If you want to help yourself stay awake, look up Bargus, and that will count as your library research. Okay. Bargus. Here. B A R G H E S T. Hmm? Yeah, you should. It's not supposed to be a fun thing. Okay. Those of you that made the roll, you too? Mm -hmm. You hear a voice from like the kennel. Like someone talking. Quietly. Okay. Faded. What do you want? Um, you listen and it says, Come here. Come here. Sounds like Anna. And she's calling the dogs over there to the kennel. But you don't see Anna or anyone. No. That is creepy. You have that dog wood on you, don't you? The sprig? You have it. That's what that's she brought tasty. it. Yeah, I have Chasing. it. Okay. See. That's what you guys are chasing? Uh, you'll be chasing it too soon. Oh god, that thing is creepy! Okay. Um, you guys get the food, get everything, get the whole bag, yep. get it to Max, he can bring in, you don't have to go back out there, and you go back inside. When you slam the door to go inside, the birds scatter except for the biggest one. Well, you're not even sure if he can fly still. He's got some gray feathers too. I'm going to go back out there and flick its beak. You go out there and flick its beak? It as you get close to do so, finally takes off. Yeah, that's a punk. Punk. The bird says back. Shut up. Are <laughs> <laughs> you sure it's not a parrot? <laughs> Actually, uh, crows can. Yes. Be taught to speak. No, ravens can. Yeah, ravens oh, and some crows. I didn't know that. Yeah. They're very smart. They're like one of the smartest birds. Interesting. Very few crows could be taught how to speak. Yes. Ravens could be taught. They have bigger heads, bigger brains. Okay. You guys get back to the house. Things kind of seem to quiet down. You guys just kind of wait and get some recovery and get some sleep before morning. Keep the house locked up. They're going to roll a die six. Five. Nine. 
three. Six. One. Nine. You can't have a nine. Mm -hmm. Nine and no. You can't have a nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got a six. You got the six. I got the one. Um, you. Me? Yes. Uh-oh. You have a bad dream this time. You're racing through a house, pursued from room to room by snarling dogs. You can hear its angry, guttural growl. It's not the ones you take care of. Finally, the invisible horror corners you in the upstairs room. As you stand frozen, the dog takes shape. It is Shadow. Um, where the eyes are missing, there's glowing red. Um, two, like, red coals are burning, giving him sight. The dog speaks. For the moment, I am only a dream. But in reality, shall come soon enough. Dog's eyes fade, leaving two hollow sockets. And then the beast disappears. You awake, screaming! Yep. Anyone Shut else? up! I'll go sleeping. check on her. I'll go check on her. Okay. You go check on her. She's having bad dog dreams. Really? Was it my idea? Of was it a bad it? hookup? No. Because I know you like to turn into wolves and go no. flaunt your fucking bitch around. This thing I saw looked like shadow. I'm going to go see where Shadow's at. It also spoke the dogs me. are all whimpering by the front door. Except for Shadow who stands sitting back, like by the stairs. I touched Shadow's head. Okay. He's all, like, actually shaking. Really now small. Why is everybody staring at me? We're trying to see what you do. Then do. First off, skin. Go see what's outside. <laughs> Mystic. Yes. Grab the other two dogs and hold them back. Okay. Luna, Skinwalker, outside. Okay. Now you guys go make intuition checks. Me too. Nope, just one's outside. 83. Are you inside still? I'm outside. Yep. Okay. 38, do you make it? And what'd you get? 80? 83. You're good. 83, yep. No, I did not make it. What I'm reading here is making me kind of like, uh, I don't want to face this thing. <laughs> Um, you get outside, and you hear a voice. Did you make the mansion door? Kind of like when you have pearls. Hello? It's saying, come here, Fritz. Come here, Manfred. Come here, Shadow. No. From the forest, or from the, the moors. No. So that's why they're waiting by the door. They keep hearing, they're, they keep hearing Hold Anna on. from outside. Hold on. I'm going to. I got shadow. Talk to him. You make an, check, an intuition check. Seventy. And mine is what? Intuition. Good. It's good. Okay. You notice something. Hmm. Big ass raven is like just like from on top of the door watching. You guys. I'm just going to walk right back in and tell Max what's going on outside. Close the door so the puppies can't get up. Yeah. Keep the dogs inside. I'm going towards the voice. Okay. You go outside? Yep. As soon as you step outside, it starts lightning. Flashes thunder and starts raining. The 
along with the fog too. You keep going? Yep. Okay. As you're out there for a while, make an intuition check. The rest of you guys stand back at the house? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 93. A luminous green wolf appears in the out out towards the more and more. And more and more? Its emerald eyes burning almost nonchalantly. Creature tots down the front steps or towards the gate and then runs down the road. He seems to be heading towards town. What do you do? Follow it. Follow it? Wrong page. <laughs> Went back in time. Okay. Make another intuition check. 90. You hear someone, a female, not Anna this time, out towards the swamp, crying, saying, help me. I'm going to go towards the voice. Intuition, see if you can find it. Hunter. Okay. You're heading out for a while, and then agility roll. 94. Okay. Yeah, fell into the mud, but you are fine. You're not trapped or anything like that. It just suddenly <clears throat> got deep. You didn't like trip into it or anything like that, so you did good. You hear the voice up ahead, deeper, saying, Hurry up before it's too late! Okay. Keep going? Yep. Okay. Agility roll again. 93. Okay. So you're heading out there. The rest of you guys, roll dice six. Lynette made a penis out of her dice. <laughs> Come on, we're going to have a hobby. <laughs> Two. 90. Four. <laughs> oh, six. She rolled a six. She rolled a six. Got two. Okay. This perch looks to roll to six. <laughs> Suddenly, all the dogs start snarling and are like, you know, looking or like looking around, trying to circle around. While wow, shadow does nothing. Manfred? Yes. Thank you. One of the younger ones? Yes. Okay, what do you want to ask? I just want to they start sniffing ask you. what they're doing. Um, what attacked, you know, the boss is out there and we don't want it trying to kill him again. <laughs> but they didn't see what attacked him to begin with. He was alone. Ask Shadow. I'm gonna ask Shadow. He was attacked by a large raven. The one that's outside. It stole his eyes. Who 
wants to be the bird. He can. He's the, the one only one that knows how to fucking bird. Into a bird. bird. Yeah. He's the only Could one. Him, yeah. That's true. That's a good point. The only thing I can turn into is a wolf. Yes, but he's getting bigger. He's scarier. You've wow. got a little bit of vampire teeth on you. You got bigger fangs now, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. I was controlled by it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be fair if I fought the bird. You turned into a mush. <sighs> you guys go outside? The bird is gone. The bird's gone. Bye. The bird's gone. It'll probably come back. You want to go looking for it? Yeah. Okay. Intuition check. First do a shape change. Or are you going to look like into a bird and fly around and look for it, or are you going to yeah. be you? Okay. 53. Okay. Made the change. Now we're on intuition roll. 97. Okay. You're flying around, and you hear voices, the, the help me's. Make a psych roll. Uh, 84. <laughs> Push psych. My psych. It's good or excellent? Uh, Starts with a B. Um, excellent. 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 What do you get? Uh, 83. That's a yellow. You found the crow. The raven. Okay. It's over on the tree near him. See if I can knock it down. You gonna try to go strike it? Knock it down so Max can step on it. Take 22 points damage. 22. Yeah. She got struck by lightning. Yep, you just got hit by lightning. But you're not grounded, so it didn't do like full lightning bolt damage. Ouch. And it's looking right at you like I did that. Oh. All bats are off then. I'm going claw face on it. Want to do a fighting roll? Yeah. Okay. Fighting is uh, excellent. But shape shifting, incredible. So, um, but still, um, you doing the fire, or are you doing claws? Claws are excellent. I'm doing claws. Okay. So it's an edged attack, which is your fighting. What you fighting? Fighting, uh, uh, either uh, uh, shape shifting. No, you're fighting. Just murder your fighting is excellent. See, most of the time you just get your regular stats. So for you'll get one bonus. Um, you have an excellent attack then. Roll. In 71. Okay. That's a yellow. So that's a stun possibly. Roll die 20. <coughs> Four. Four? I guess. Um. You hit it. And you did damage to it. But it doesn't seem, well, you, it, it did some damage, definitely. You heard it. But it's not dead. It's stronger than it should be. And um, suddenly you can't hear anything. goes like silent. But you see what he's doing. You see what he's like attacking in the trees. I'm you see the phoenix before. I'm gonna go the tree. So go ahead towards the tree. 
It's a big, like, thorny tree. Make a recent check. Third. It smells familiar. Dogwood. Yep, smells like the sprig. I'm going to break a branch up. I, I think you don't need to make a strength over that. Go ahead and break it off. Um, what's your psych? Good. Uh. You hear it, it churns and looks at you, and a voice behind you says, Don't hurt the bird. Sounds like growly. I turn around. There's a large black animal staring at you. I'll hurt you then. Okay. Roll. Did you attack? I? Yep. Attack on my... Fighting to hit. 99. Okay. It's a supernatural being. Yeah. All of it. Okay. Roll die 20 plus. 20. Okay. And with a sudden explosion of feathers, it's gone. It didn't disappear. You, you, you broke it. Like a zombie. <laughs> I broke it! <laughs> you broke a toy! I broke it! So I can! Do you, do you break, break the bird? Or do you break the the, the uh, dog? No. This is my. The dog wasn't my. there. Okay. So that fur bird is in feathers. <laughs> you made it go poop. It tried to <laughs> do a trick to image shifting <gasps> to escape. You did a Fiona. <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry. Chitty, chitty, bang. Take a uh, 50 karma for the ending the Corby. Fucking Corby's. Corby's, really? Yes. <laughs> Storm crows are also known as. You can look that one up too. Corby's. Storm crows, like, for some reason, came up more. I couldn't find Corby much. They tried to find. Give me a band. Yeah, we were watching about that earlier. Yeah, I was. That's why I was studying. That's why I was like. <laughs> What's gonna happen now? That's why between my classes I was kind of sitting there watching. That's why you couldn't pass it. We were too busy listening to the crap in the next. Hey, room. I passed them. I know you did good. Okay. Hey, you. There's something walking upstairs in the house. I'll go check like, it out. <laughs> Pretty heavy. I'll go check it out. Can I get a check? Nine. 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 Green. Green. Okay. You go upstairs. There's a dog up there. A big dog. Bigger. Yeah, kind of like what you looked at. It comes trotting around the corner. Make a psych roll. Lots of things fall out of that place. It's so full. I have a one. Uh, you gotta go get the big 15. dog. What? I got 15. You got a 15. You freeze. <laughs> oh my god, my little doggy bed. Not a friend. Oh! <laughs> Suddenly, it's dark. You're running through the fog. It's like a daytime dream you're having right here. Behind in the distance, the bang of a dog can be heard. The sound of a hound is chasing you. The land is rugged, studded with rocks and small boulders. At this point in the dream, you need to make an agility okay. check. 
into the mud. The dog is closing in. Struggling to rise again, you turn just in time to see the sleek shape of a black dog bounding forward, snarling and frothing at the mouth. Its red eyes brighten and it lunges at your throat. Suddenly, you are tackled. Make an endurance roll. Baby. Okay. Good. There's a large dog on you. I'm going to try to kick it. Okay. Kick it in the balls. For balls. Hey, that's my thing. <laughs> it's on top of me. I'm going to try to save my dog. How do you know it's a male or female? I know. Exactly. Okay, then. Why assume gender? Did you just assume the dog's <laughs> gender? Yeah. Oh. oh! She doesn't know dogs. She's dark horse. Oh dear. <laughs> She's sexist. Mm. Can't touch this. Okay. Uh, I'm not talking to her anymore. <laughs> what do you do? You okay? Roll a fighting roll. Fine, no kick in the gut. Well, first of all, just kicking something, and then if you want to hit a specific spot, it's harder. I'm fighting Do you want to succeed or not? Just kick it. Remarkable. If you want to just hit it, it will be a 36. If you want to kick it and do it like in the gut or anything, you need a 66. What do you How want to do? How much climb can I add? You have a what? What's your stat? The fighting's remarkable. So you... 30. Yep, 30 points. I was going to add 30 to that. Okay. Just to... Yeah, you know, while you're rolling out one. Nope. I got a 36 adding the 30, 66. Okay. Make a strength roll. Roll that 10, I mean. Six nine muckle would be green. Yep, roll dice. Ten. Because you're good at strength. Ten. Plus four. Fourteen. Sets the basis so I get the damage right. The lowest you can roll is five, so it's half the number. No watch it's poor shadow. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Now it's a healthy dog, but he tackled you. And whatever it was ran away because he was there. He saved your life and you kick him. Because he startled me. I'll yeah. go over to Pam and be like, I'm sorry. I, I hope you. he bites you. He, he growls and he does move away. He'll probably come tell me about it. He's probably come to me. I will find a treat to get him. Well, the other ones come. Okay, you're going to look for treats? Yeah. Go, okay. <laughs> you might want to go check on Shadow. Now you're hearing footsteps again in the house. But they don't come too close because you have dogs with you. It's afraid of dogs. Yeah. Just like, you know, mummies don't like cats. They don't? They? No. No. Oh my cats, gosh! Cats are, uh, gods. That's probably that why Egypt... I thought it was that. Has all the gods. Worships the cat. Well, it's more because they worship the cat. They're dangerous. So, you guys have killed the poor bird. We go back we to go the back. house? Yep. Okay. She's trying to catch up to Shadow and trying to make him eat a treat, and he doesn't trust her. Oh, my her. God. It's on you. Nemo! What'd you do to him? He goes I'm over so and sits next to you. Him. Good evening. Raina. Or not Raina, but Trixie. Find out what she did to him. Okay. He jumped on I'm going to talk to him. Okay. He heard it running around upstairs and knew what it was. It was the big dog from outside mm -hmm. that he was chasing that night. Mm -hmm. That he got attacked by the bird. Mm -hmm. And then she kicked him after he, he tackled scared him. Me. He startled me! Because he was, he was about to rip her throat out. He startled me! And so I locked her in her room. No. I reacted because no, he startled me! Sorry. I want to lock her in her room. I didn't mean to. You're grounded to your room. He startled me, so I forgot. You're grounded to, to your room <laughs> for kicking my dog friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, startled me. I have to go lower. I'm sorry. <laughs> Should put a collar on her. Okay. <laughs> what do you guys do for this tonight? Just first off, I'm gonna, first off, I'm gonna let Shadow piss all over her. <laughs> <laughs> 
And the other two dogs are allowed to also. Oh, well, they're also looking at her like, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but she's in her room, so they don't care. I pissed off the dog. I didn't mean to. Intuition check. Oh, I'm interested. It's typical. Grain. Yep. It's just scratching at the door. At the window, I mean. Like. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yes, yeah, so what do you want to do with oh, it? Oh, cross again. I'm like, chalkboard. God, do I want to come in here? So she screams for you guys to come into her place. Why are you, are you gonna kick another dog? No, it's scratching at my window. Yeah, it's probably a dog wanting to beat your ass. And it's a neighbor dog. <laughs> Little Pomeranian. <laughs> I have uh, a I have a palm mix. You shouldn't make drinks out of dogs. Oh! <laughs> Check on her. Okay. May Where's the dogs? Me? With Mystic. Downstairs? Yep. Okay. Dog I'm kickers. Tr I'm trying to heal up. I guess you got the tar knocked out of me. Okay. <gasps> yes. There's something out there. You hear it. I open up the window. Okay, it pushes the tree branch that's reading against it away. It looks like it could have been a tree branch scratching the window. <laughs> She's scared. <laughs> And then something bites onto your arm, doing 39 points of damage, and drags you out the window, breaking the wall in the process. Oh hell, no, motherfucker! It's dragging you off, and it's it, it's a huge fucking cow-sized, like bear-sized dog thing. I have that dogwood stick in my hand. Okay. I'm gonna stab it to the head. You gonna try to do that? Roll. On my strength. Uh, fighting to hit. Hundred. Uh, oh, 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 you hit. Roll die twenty. I know it's not Shadow because he's at the house. No, oh, no, this thing's the size of like a, a grizzly bear. Twenty. It's big enough to keep, drag you across. She, he just went flying out the window. He's trying to turn around. He's gonna yell at you, and something grabbed his arm and dragged him through the window. Like I'm gonna window. chase it. Uh -uh. No, don't. No. Do you want to die? thing will eat you. You, 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 you. Well, first of all, who told her not to chase you? Do you yell? Stay there! Okay. I'll stay. He's worried about you. Getting eaten by a dog. Dogs don't like you. Unless you want to end up like Anne. Okay. I'll stay. <laughs> I'll stay. You stab him with it? Yep. Okay. Um... He lets go, but when you stabbed him, it kind of like didn't feel fully solid. And I still have a hold on. Yes, it passed right through it, but it let go of you in the process. It had to. You stabbed it in the head, so it had to turn ghost-like, and then you dropped onto the mud. And it's now like stalking around you. I stand and watch it. Okay. Um, we need... As I pop my neck. A die 20 roll for speed. 24. Yeah, you got me by four points. You're first. I'm in charge it. Okay. Fighting roll? 94. What are you doing? Charging it. Okay, you're charging it. You hit it. Uh, roll die 20. 20. Okay, you hit it, Die. slam it back into a tree. Here's some cracking. 
tree takes damage. It shakes it off. Goes around to the other side. Kind of like twists its body back into shape. Like it took good damage, but it doesn't seem to do much to it. I charge at it again? Okay. Well, first of all... Oh yeah, I was too busy healing. So you're gonna go again. Do it. 92. Okay. <gasps> 13. You charged it. You hit it again. And you did some more damage. <coughs> Is Luna gonna alert Skinwalker and Mystic? <coughs> I'll yell for them and be like, hey, my cousin got taken. Come on, guys. Okay. Um, you took hit for 31 points as he bit you when you charged him. <laughs> now, it's been one round, so one round healing for you. So you'll slowly get it back. So I'm at 60. I don't heal that Too quick. Back. No. I got the car knocked out of me. <coughs> you, 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 you couldn't have the experiment done on you, Weapon X. Mm -hmm. Shapeshifters don't go through it well. It's hard to like put a reinforced skeleton in something that's well, they'll be able shape. Well, they'll be able to see where I'm at. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Just look for the trees going boom, 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 yeah. boom. Okay. So, you guys need to make an intuition roll, you two, to find him. It's just a green roll. Do you want to go? Yeah. 56. Oh, no, you told her to stay behind. Nice. But I guess with the others, it's all right. Well. Intuition roll, then, if you're looking. What'd you roll? I got a name. Okay. 56. 83. Okay. And you guys just go running out. Well, there's a fucking trail that they could follow that my yeah. body was yeah, being exactly. drugged. Yeah. So you jump out the window. <coughs> yep. There's some blood, too. It's like chewing on him pretty good. Oh! Uh, it's I, magic. Your healing didn't work. So you still you take down for your healing won't work. He's only part, he's a corporeal being. Not so much magical, but his effects can affect you, but you are not weakened into a human state. Make a reason check. 96. Okay. What do you do with a sharpened wooden stick? Stab it through the heart. You haven't tried that yet. I'm going to do it. Okay, roll. <coughs> On my agility? Yep. <coughs> Hundred. You guys get there as he stabs this thing through the heart. Which that, roll die 20. 20. That's only actual damage you've done yet to him. So that's uh, how much strength? All. So that's 85. And oh, it's his weakness. So it screams as it like slowly like attempts to get out, but it cannot fight off. It, it, it like attempts to pull, but it can't turn back to uh, so back to a ghost. It's still there. I'm gonna push in. No, it's it's always stuck into the ground. He's just like <coughs> he's pinned to the ground. He's trying to get away, but he's solid now. You pinned him to the earth. I can use my what do you do now? Punch him in the head. Sir, punch him. Go for it. Anyone else want to jump in? Strength? I can use sound generation because dogs don't like sound. Yeah. Loud, like high pitched noises. Yeah. Sure. Roll. It could just Everyone, slow him down. You're first. He's already slowed down. I well, have slow him down more. They could stun him so he doesn't bite you. I he like still how bite you fucking interrupt. Me. Sorry. No. Skinwalker. Wait. Sorry. You know. No. You're first. Then Skinwalker. I'm gonna punch it as hard as I can in the head. That was a 24 you had, right? Yeah. Okay. Ramp. I put bam. 99. You bam. Let's see. 99. 20. Okay. Ah, uh, you hit it solid. It doesn't seem to be doing so well now. Yeah, it's looking to the sky for apparently support. 
supports God. Half the church were being done by the Corby, not the Vargas. He was like just enticing his words. He knew it was there though. Next is Skinwalker. Doesn't seem to die yet, but he's punching it. Punching a bear, it looks like. It's the biggest wolf you've ever seen. Yeah. Um. By the way, make sure we could at least have evidence that we could take to the cops to show that, hey, this is what's been out there killing people. What do you know? Like so what? no burning it? <laughs> that would burn um, the stake. Then I will see. Okay, it'll be safe. <gasps> no burning it. Okay. Smokey the bear says only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> or start them. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what you're doing, what you're doing. All right, uh, I'm going to... See if I can come into the, the a giant bolus and see if I can wrap around it. Okay. So you can beat on it. Grappling bolt. Uh, Go ahead. But your, your strength will be remarkable. We'll say strength. They're a big boa. I got 99. I say, yeah, that'd be a little less. 99? Yeah. You're good. You've wrapped it up. You're no. squeezing it for additional damage. Roll die 20. 20? Yep. 14. So that's 34 more points damage from just the being squeezed. It's Luna! Held down already. So What's it, Luna do? I'm wrapping around so I can't bite you. It can't It's wrapped fight. with a snake right now, though. <coughs> the snake. Do you want to do the sound thing still? Mm, I can't remind. The dog's back at the house, but he just loved you for that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, they're not going to like. Mm -hmm. Dog's like, I'm just pee on you. Take turns. Oh, I can make a baseball bat and hit him on the head. You want to make a baseball, <laughs> a baseball bat? Roll ahead. <laughs> no, you make your baseball bat. Thing. Go ahead. Hmm? You can do the same thing. You can. Well, I could pee on her too. You can too. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Five dogs pissing on her. Max <laughs> and the the group of dogs. You're just like the hunt master. You bring out like five dogs, one blind. But 38, on I the, can't. The wagon. What? I failed. Okay. At it didn't form. And it didn't matter. It's dead. It, it, it collapses to the ground. But the problem is it, it like starts to disappear into the ground. But in the process, it's uh, burning the ground, leaving a imprint. I'm going to pick body. it up. Um, it starts to pass through your body and you like can't hold it away too much. As it's going to grow pearl following through you. Basically it's dying, it's returning to the ghost realm. It's 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 Vargas actually means town ghost, but that's not what they are. But it does leave a strange imprint where you stuck the thing through it there on the ground. Usually if it runs through walls it like burns a hole too. So this is what happens. What? What do you guys do? Go back to house now? Yep. Yeah. Well. Everyone that did something to the Fargus gets 50 points. And then everyone gets an additional 25 on top. So you guys go back to the house? Yep. There's someone at the front door. The bookstore guy. Oh. What's up? I have more information for you. <coughs> Vargas is dead, inside. by the way. Oh, that's what it was? Yep. Interesting. The, ra the big raven's dead, too. A corby? Yep. Oh. Those creatures, it's hard to recognize those. I mean, they look just like large ravens. It's interesting. Well, let's all go inside and... We'll uh, have some tea and we'll discuss what I found out. I found more information on our gentleman. Uh, <laughs> at her? Yep. <laughs> all, all thrilled. Although Shadow does shy away from it. Find out why. Okay. I'm going to 
talk Doctor. to Shadow and see why he's... Um... He controls or does dark things, like, magically. Mm. You know he's a Satanist. He's helping us. Well, that gentleman, he appeared one night at Doyle's Tavern, I found out. This is from the Constable Report. Um, he got himself good and hammered. And a couple of constables wandered in, finishing their shift. Well, this fellow starts bragging about he fooled the bumbling idiots at Scotland Yard and had his way with the boy's grandmother and starts a row. Now, these are some strapping young lads, mind you. And they hadn't even gotten a pint in them yet. The fellow rips these boys limb from limb. And it takes 15 sailors and blacksmiths and whatnots from the tavern to pin this man down. Once they got him in custody and calmed down, he goes on about he was how he was the Whitechapel killer and goes into disgusting, gory detail about each murder. And so my source at the yard says, reveals information that only a select few of the detectives 50 years ago had access to. The coppers are still trying to figure out what to do with this fellow. He's obviously not the real Jack. He doesn't look a day over 35. But he also killed two constables in plain sight with his bare hands, with no less intricate working knowledge of a 50 year old unsolved series of murders. They have him holed up right here at the Catholic Home for the Insane, St. Michael's, down on Montague Street. You've been to St. Michael's, that's where you found Kennington. Kensington? Kensington. Well, I think we shall go talk to him. Okay. After I heal up a little bit. You guys take care of your injuries and everything? Oh yeah, I have proof it was a uh, huge-ass dog. See? Oh! I, I, that's more than That's like a freaking bear. That's huge. I can show you where I ki we killed it at, too. Mm. Well, he tells you, I'm going to have uh, John Appleby, my contact <coughs> at Scotland Yard. He's a detective, and uh, he will get you clearance to go see him. But he's the one that was the officer that did all the paperwork and investigated everything about it. He might know more, but he's rather open to unusual, let's say he's come to me before to find out if someone was still alive or dead. Do a little work with the police force sometimes. Especially at times when people think it was a satanic situation. I have to prove it wasn't. Because usually it's not, you know, usually. By the way, Bill, when we get back to your house, put the truck behind the van. Okay. Did you guys have any other questions about anything before I head home? No. <coughs> Um, because, and he plops down a book, and it's on ancient Mesopotamian religion. This is because I thought you might want to know something about Pazuzu. Do you want to know about him, or do you have already heard of him? I've heard about him, but I'd like to read more about him. Okay. Well, I could just leave this here with you. <coughs> okay. And, uh, says uh, he's got to go. He's got to contact. He's waiting to hear from John Appleby, who will come by his shop to find out. And then you guys will go to, uh, the asylum to meet the poor gentleman. Uh, the book said, do you read the book? Yep. On Pazuzu, the ancient Mesopotamian religion, Pazuzu was the king of demons and of the wind, brother of Humbaba and son of the god Hambul. He represented the southwestern wind and the bearer of the storms and drought. 
Pazuzu was the being to invoke incredible things, beings, and monsters in a visible form. He's been called the Lord of all fevers and plagues, the grinning dark angel of the four wings. Horned with rotting genitalia, he is among the most fearsome of all the demonic entities and takes firm control of any host it's been said to <clears throat> in magical tomes that it, it, it's almost impossible to relieve it. Pazuzu, once he has laid hold of a man, he will hold him until death. And if this was the other game, it would be Crystalia. I want us to do something. Yes, but look, wait, no, see, it no, doesn't happen here. Okay. Um, no one has nightmares that night. Woohoo! It's all good. I think we gained ourselves three dogs. They seem happy. They walk around a lot happier. Shadow uh, goes over and sleeps on Hannah's bed, though, a lot. He says at times he thinks he feels her. Petty him. But, you know, he's an old dog. Who knows what he sees or feels? I see her all the time! Oh, I've been giving the wrong name. His name is Edward. Edward Wingate. That's the guy that's been talking to you. Um, you find other loose pieces of paper in the book. They left you. Do you look at them before going to sleep that night? Then everyone will be healed. Or, well, I don't think anyone's hurt that. Well, you. But you heal, and his, his magic effect is gone. Um, <coughs> one says, the Le Marchand's box, the Lament configuration, or the Le Marchand configuration, is one of the most notorious puzzle boxes in the world. It supposedly possesses the power to open the gates of hell itself. The Lament configuration was built by Philip, a toy maker, or French toy maker, Philip no Le Marchand. There are two different stories about the creation of the box. It states that he was a cruel and morbid man, as well as being a mass murderer, who made the boxes with human fat and bones with the help of a demonic assistant called Baron. The second version tells the story of a more innocent Lechman. He was a young man ordered to build a puzzle box at any cost. This order was placed by Duke de Listiel. He Garroted a woman and used the box as a medium. <laughs> that got your attention. To let him, or to let his black magic resurrect a demon named Angelique Lecherman's bloodline was forever bloodline was forever cursed because of the creation. Oh gosh. That's Colors. what they're talking about. The box. There's also notes. Oh yeah. Okay. Creepy. On the ne Necronomicon ex mortis. There's the box. This is research he's done for you. Also known as the Book <laughs> cool of the Dead. It is an ancient magical tome written by an unknown author utilizing human flesh as its bindings and blood as its ink. Written in the book are prophecies, funeral incantations, and demon resurrection passages. It is unknown how many copies or variations of the Necronicon were written but at least three are known to exist. Legends has it that the Necronicon Ex Mortis can not only awaken demonic entities and awaken the dead, but it also opens a rift through space and time. These are information on the three items you're looking for. You want to see what the, uh... Box looks like? She already saw what the box looks like. Ah. Because there's drawings of it. He's not seen one, he's only heard of them. What time we got? It's 10 12. Okay. That's the book. That's the book. 738 It has a face on it. It does. Yes. Oh, God. It does. It's got a face because that was someone's face. It's made out of human skin. 
Yeah. You know, there's actually a lot of books that have been made that way. Probably influenced by it. They all influence each other. <laughs> and that probably comes from something else, too. That's um, We're going to... Next day, everyone's fine. You guys all heal up. You eat. And you head out to go talk to Wingate, who is going to have you guys directly meet Applebee. Because Applebee is very concerned on this situation, too. He's got some unsolved cases. And... He wants to know how this guy found. He thinks he's got a police friend. Because how else do you know this information? The cop's not going to believe it's, you know, supernatural. Uh oh. <laughs> you got a person trapped in your phone! Okay. <laughs> Wingate. A Wingate Scotland Yard pal is Detective Inspector John Appleby. I'll be agreed to meet with you guys in the park that shares the name of the hotel. And the me being Stephanie a smartass. Greens. Me being a smartass. I love your restaurant chain. <laughs> Applebee's. I love that chain. Oh. <laughs> Must the be an American thing. The wings are delicious. You know, you uh, like are, you, are you all Americans? Yes. Oh, okay. I have no problem with Americans. They're helping out, and we're hoping they get into the war soon. They're, it looks like they might soon. Um. Yes, Wingate's accounts of the incident, from what I've heard, brought any uh, mystery, brought this man to our custody. But the deaths of the two officers, he also confirms, this man was true identity unknown has detained the knowledge of murders that were never leaked to the press. Something that he says is nearly impossible due to the fact that what little information about the murders that wasn't public knowledge has been sealed more than 40 years ago. Um, how's this uh, applying to your mission, though? I mean... You're all government people. Why are you looking into this? I mean, I appreciate the help, but we don't get much help from the feds. The branch of the government that we're working for wants us to investigate the stuff. Okay. Because um, my report <coughs> said something have to do with fighting Nazis. The Nazis are interested in all this, too. Well, under that case, I'm happy to do my part. Um, I'll set up an appointment immediately. Um, we'll go meet the man who claims to be Jack the Ripper. Um, how about, give me a couple hours and we'll meet at St. Michael's Asylum. And uh, I'll take you inside and we'll get this all set up. You have to clear it with the scissors. Of course. You're giving your hand in the back. I like it when she does it. I'll do it one more time, then I'll be done. <laughs> I have it then behind you. Okay. <laughs> um, as you guys approach St. Michael's Asylum, since I didn't describe much last time, and okay. Woo! <laughs> I have a map of it. I'm uh, probably going to be tapping out soon because I'm getting tired. Yeah, well, that's why I'm just trying to get you guys set up so we can pick up from the meat of this story instead of like having to build up to it. We had to clear out the situation of the bar. Well, that's what my diet can. Um, he meets you at the gates. It's an old cathedral and shares its anchorage with a small convent. It is these nuns who have taken the task of caring for the mentally unstable under the guidance of Father Maurice Duchance a psychologist, and a psychologist by the name of Victor Sampson. As you guys approach... I heard it fall. We'll find it after we're done. Yeah. Um, Sampson's the first guy you guys meet as you go in. 
Um, what were you wanting? Why do you want to talk to him? And find out if it's the real him or if it's just an imposter. Well, but we don't have an identity on him even. Have you guys got an identity yet? We can find out. Okay. Well, I'm willing to allow you guys uh, and the detective access to the patient. Um, she's an opportunity to assist law enforcement anyway and, you know, possibly write papers on it. Oh, you want us to look at it? You can just leave it right there for now. Okay. Um, you know, so it, I have no problem with it. I'll, I'll get the paperwork coming. So he goes into the office. And then an argument breaks out. And the father comes out. Father Mar Maurice? No. We can't just have people wandering through the thing, scaring the patients. I, I, I just... What is, you're hoping to prove who he is? He's a sick man. I mean, I've heard stories about what he did, but, you know, we've not really seen since he's been here. We want to find out who told him all these stories. Oh. As the cop speaks up. Yeah, we're still thinking that there may be a connection. He has a leak somewhere he's talked to because his information was secret. Um, so we could identify fakes. And if this was 50 years ago, we would call it answers. But he wasn't born until year, 15 years after the murders. So. Hi, Gweedy. Um, let me go talk to the mother superior and see what she. Because it's her people that take care of it. I believe I've seen you guys here before. Yes, you have. Kenzie. Have you talked with Mary Margaret? Yes. Okay. Well, you were respectful, I hope, last time. Yes, we were. Oh, yeah, the Kensington situation. Yes. That's sad. It's always sad when they take their lives. I feel I failed them. So, um, let me go check, and we'll see what we can do about limited access. I mean, there's a lot of you, and you're a large man. God has given you great power, though. I just don't have to go in. These three can. Well, let me go see what the mother says. I mean, if my size scares the patients, I could, I could stay hidden so the patients don't see me. And Sam says, no, I don't think you have to worry about that with him. I don't think that man's afraid of anything. I think, you know, I don't see a problem with this. It's to help the law enforcement. Father Reese, your friend, says, you just want a paper written on it. You want your name to appear in the papers, help the police with this. And we're not here to serve your little ego. We're to help the sit ouch. Just talk to, to the mother. mother superior about these three. I'll sit here and okay. stay out of the line of sight of the other patients. Um because we don't need an uprising from the patients. Nope. And after a while, uh, roll a die 20. Who? Oh. You. Just because you were the one that. <laughs> 19. 19 minutes later, they come back. Or the father does. He's got two sisters with him. Sister Mary Margaret. And Sister Mary Catherine. So many religious names. Sister Mary Margaret, you've met before. Um, Sister Mary Catherine, you haven't, but she's looking you up and down. She's like, you're a big one, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So you're probably well gifted in like many ways. Me. Looks down. I cross my legs. <laughs> it gets smaller. It's like, oh, no, don't worry. I was just, you're a large man. It's just your, but it'll be fine. What we've worked out, the, the mother told us, 
and that's why we're going with you, is you're allowed to come in groups of two at a time and come in questioning. So you guys work out, and we'll take two of you back there. The, um, of course, the officer will be going. What I'm thinking is I'm going to stay hidden from the patients. Okay. Because I don't want to cause any problems for you, for the staff here. Well, thank you. Because my size will scare the living shit, excuse my language, out of these patients and cause an uprising. Because they might think I'm Jekyll and Hyde or something. Oh, you're, you're so nice, too, says uh, Catherine. You're such a caring man, as you pitch you. She's like pat you on the shoulder, reaching up. She can't reach that high. You're a bicep. Feeling it? Do you, do you flex her? No. Okay. So, <laughs> I was thinking, these three, plus the officer, Going. Yeah, so which two yeah. of these of you guys is going in with them? You mean which one? No, oh, just one. No, she meant two of you guys can go at a time. Who is going with the officer? No, the officers are already counting him going. So you four. I'm not going. Two of you can go. I'm thinking you better be on your best behavior. Who even says so? <laughs> Did you hear that? My dad's on a window. Got the dad's opinion. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Skinwalker and Luna. Okay. So they take you back there. Sweetie. Did you get in there? Where'd you go? Buddy? They slide the little thing on the window or the door, so you can see in there. You see a man, just oh, like slumped over, like just all here. worn out, like tired, just like. All but in a straight jacket and chained to the floor on the other side of the room. You guys, hey, Catherine and Mary, with you guys. Um, I hope you have better luck with this one. We don't need another dead man here. Looking at you, know, you two, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Says so, you know I, I I know you weren't responsible for the last one, but we do have to concern. He's actually a sweet gentleman most of the time. I, it's hard for me to believe these stories. This is Mary Margaret. About I what am happened. Go in. Well, we don't come you have to come back later. They'll take turns. You two I'm will so go in next. Scared. You guys can take turns. Okay. Um, you guys are sitting there as in the room watching. Now, Father Maurice goes with you guys too. But those two of you that are remaining behind, um, Mother Superior's watching through the office window. See what you guys are doing. Make sure everything's fine. She'll have one of the sisters. So what's another sister? Um, sister Clarice. I know. <laughs> That's what I thought too. Sister Clarice will uh, ask, did you guys need tea or anything? Biscuits. Sure, yeah, we'll take some tea. Okay. She goes and gets a tray ready. Okay, you guys get in there. You see the gentleman sitting there. Um. Okay. He's sitting there. Looks up at you guys. I've not seen you two. smell of unborn, unborn sins. You shouldn't even be here. He sits back. <laughs> we just need to ask some questions. I know what this is. You want to ask questions? question? All we need to know is who gave you the information I need. That's all we need to know. I did, you bitch. I'm the one that did the killing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> no, that was very, very rude. <laughs> you guys can't be violent. 
That's the thing. I'm just saying. I know. That was. Oh no. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I behave better? Can you please be a little better? Maybe I'll let you talk to my friend Max. Okay. Yeah. You couldn't handle it. Sisters, look, you guys are done already? We're going to let my cousin deal with I, I, I'm sorry for his language. He, I, we, we assumed he grew up on the streets. It's just Marcus. He told you to behave. And he actually shies back a bit from her. Could be the whole religious thing. I yeah. know what we're dealing with. It. And the father's like... Devin. Am I right? Huh? I'm not sure what you're Three. We'll find out. Shoot me, Bill! Shoot me! Shoot me, Bill! Do it now! Do it now! So, oh, you guys go it. back? Yeah. Okay, they apparently only come back after like ten minutes. The walk was like nine. You guys might want to deal with him. He's a little sassy. He just called me bitch. The, um... And he kind of... The, the father... Mother. And the cop stayed. The two sisters followed him back to like drop them off. And they go talk to Miss to Mother Superior. She nods, looks at him. They bring you your tea and cakes Dude, while you're that's... waiting. Took too long. They they were too quick. Wait, you... you guys go back? You guys, you two go in? Just Ladies first. You will have okay. fun with him, cuz. <laughs> Ladies first. Okay. You're taken back there by the two sisters. The one stays close to you. <laughs> you can just. <laughs> she slips you a note. What does it say? I was adopted into this. Take me away. <laughs> She's very big stud. Max is the big okay. stud. Now you go see it. And now you go into the room with the uh, cops still there. Father's nearby. He's like at the door. They let you in. Kind of squeeze your way in there. It's a tight fit for you. These are smaller, they're padded doors, so. Oh, you are a big one. Is that so you can speak louder? And is this your heart? Hey! <laughs> I know how to deal with them. First, why don't you shut your fucking mouth and be nice to women? Oh, you want to hit me? Who the fuck are you? Well, John's the one that would feel it. He said that that's what they called him. Dope. So there's more than one of you. Well, sometimes. Let's play a fun little game. Oh, I love games. <clears throat> it's a yes or no game. Ooh, I'm not good with rules. But we'll try. Are you demonic? Work. 
That was a yes or no. No. I told you I wasn't getting rules. What is your true name? Jack, you're telling them they're all my murders again, right? What is your true name? I've had many. But my favorite's been Leather. Leather apron. Jack old saucy Jack. Listen, you little bitch. Ooh. What is your true fucking name? Pissing off rampage. You think you know why you're here, don't you? You think you can save the world? I pull out the book. Okay. Wow. Usually bring, people bring me Bibles. What do you got there? Are you Pazuzu? No. Not right now. I look over at the father. He's kind of shocked. We're dealing with a case of Possession. Oh. Well then, um, I happen, well then it is his failure because I happen to be an exorcist. Um, if you can find proof and I can get permission, um, we can do an exorcist. Um, he's safe. Um, the sisters will keep an eye on you. I'm going to go make phone calls to the Vatican and see if I can get approval for this. So, he kind of goes off, kind of sweating. But, you know, says a few hail and, you know, amens and all that while leaving. Sisters stay with the, uh, the cop. Although, he's kind of running out of stuff to ask. He's like, so you're saying... How to get the information? He's saying he is Jack. It's impossible. The spirit of Jack the Ripper is in him. Oh. So, he's been possessed by a ghost? This is not going to help me at all. Well, you guys find out what you can. Let me find out if you find anything useful. Um, but this is uh, not really my uh, bailiwick. So uh, I'm sure the sisters have you. Um, Edward spoke well of you. Although, but we'll check more information on that suicide. But it doesn't suicide. seem to be your attack. Of Kensington. Or Kendrick. Kensington was not us. But he's just got to check once he hears it. You know, it's, it's my job. So he goes off. He seems to be a good cop, but... He doesn't want to stretch his mind too much around the rest. Yeah. So let's see. So it's you guys. You are one of many. Well, we got rid of one of them. But I'm not going to talk in front of the sisters. Well, I ask uh, <coughs> Mystic Wolf and the sisters to just step out. They can stand in front of the door if they want. Okay, fair. May I psych roll? Hundred. Okay. So you convince them out that they're going to like listen on the outside of the door. Um, oh, as I was saying, you righteous pile of shit. You think you're so special. You think you're a hero. How many lives have you taken in this war? Why do you smell of the unborn? 
How much blood have you spilled? Mothers are crying for their sons. Children will never know their fathers. All because you have become soldiers, all having to compare the sizes of your cocks. I'm not from this time. Ah, that makes sense. You know, the father here knows the sizes of all the Acolytes members. You know, I want you to shut the fuck up and tell me who you are. Ooh. We're afraid to get pissed. I digress. You're here to combat evil, aren't you? Who are you? I'll just start to say you think I'm evil. But what is evil? <sighs> Your legion. We've heard that name before. It's more of a title. We're all put here by the Pazuzu. But he did it so I could continue my work. Should I just kill you now? No, you would only kill John Doe. And we'll send you back from the fucking... And we'll send you back to the pits of fucking hell where you came from. Doesn't matter. You are looking for the idol. I know where it is. Then where the fuck is it? Well, you'll have to get me out of here. Why? Because I don't like it here. I don't care. That was, you know... What? You still thinking I'm evil? Where's the fucking idol and I won't kill you? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. We live now in a world where a can, man can lift I'm gonna tanks. I'm going to punch him in the face. Okay. 98. How much damage? Mm, I'm just going to go with excellent. Roll a 20. 10. So that would be 30. Okay. You knocked him out. <laughs> 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 then the door opens. Oh, you guys hear the... be revenge for him calling Mystic a whore. Um, then the door opens and the two sisters are there. What have you done to him? They come in and check to make sure he's not greatly hurt. No, he's still alive. You broke his jaw! So, you guys go out and Meet everyone else? Yep. Okay. You may now discuss what you've all discovered. Did you have fun? We have possession. Great. He started rambling. So I had to knock him out. His mouth wasn't saying what I wanted it to say, so I hit him. Yes, we'll he is... Nasty name. He called you a whore. Exactly. <laughs> he called me a bitch. Oh, apparently you and I have small dicks. <laughs> Sister Mary Catherine says, oh, I doubt that. No! <laughs> and uh, Sister Mary Margaret, like, slaps her hand. He's been flat. By the way, he also said something about the father, too. Well, yeah. He's uh, never spoken much around him. According to him, the father knows every the size of every man's member. Well, it might be, but we could also just fly into a little horse. No? Then maybe he was lying. All part of a possession. Could be. Um, but what'd you find out? He is not Jack the Ripper. He is possessed by a legion. Okay. Oh. Um... He was trying to get me to break him out. Mm -hmm. 
No. Exactly. He's not leaving. That's why I knocked him out. Um. They both like hear that and they're like, go off and talk to sister, mother spirit. I mean. Uh, the father comes out. I lack adequate proof, they said. Do you feel safe enough to go back in there or any two of you to find out anything more? I'll go back. Okay. So you go back. Yeah. After he wakes up. Yep. About an hour later, you go in there. We'll be done soon. I don't think so, Luna can keep a cool with him. I don't oh. think Max is going to let him live long. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I must have been boring you. I was just speaking about the same angers that your God himself speaks of. But let me clarify one thing for you. If you do nothing else for me, let them know it is me. I am Jack the River. No, you're not. No, I am. No, you're not. At one time, I was Kaczynski. Another time, I was another man. Why do you think they couldn't find one? I killed most of them with three different bodies. This is my newest one. I died three months after in an asylum. Kensington. But Pazuzu came to me and gave me another chance. He loves my work. He says, let me come back. But I know where he is. But the problem is this. I cannot tell you where it is. But Zuzu wouldn't allow it. But he is worried. For there are evils worse than him. The Nazis. And if they get the idol, if you find it, I will tell you where it is. If you get me out of here. Simply because I want it destroyed. For when it's destroyed, I will truly be free. I will not hear its voices anymore. And then I can get back to my work. Right I now, can't, I can't allow you to continue killing people. I will not set you free. Then how many others must die? You know, that shall not kill. That's a good one, isn't it? That's what death upon you. Recently, they also say, you know, things like, thou shalt not commit adultery. <laughs> Tell me you haven't gotten your dick wet. I see the way that the sister looks at you. Don't trust them. Is the father in here with me? No. Otherwise, he wouldn't speak anymore. Every time Father comes near, he quits talking. He finally tells you, you know, you, you have to get me out of here. I'm begging you. This looks more sane. Your reason check. Eighty-eight. This sounds like the voice that fits the face. He says. Whatever this thing is inside me, it's nothing compared to what will happen if they get their hands on it. Tell it's me. the nuns. You have to get me away from the nuns. Tell me what your name is. I cannot remember. I was hung. He pulls back mission marks on his neck. I thought I was dead. How long ago were you hung? Oh, it doesn't feel like long. I don't even know what time it is now. It's about
and give the time, the date. Okay? So it's only been like five years. Maybe even less. I can't remember. And then the voice comes back. Take me out of here! No. You want to save the world. Save this body. Save this man. Those Nazi scums want me. They don't want that. You you don't want that. I'll tell you where the statue is. But you have to let me go. No. Get me out of this place. No. And you can save all the meaty no. you want. Get your desires. I walk out of the door, out of the room. Destroy the statue. Set me free. And I let them know that the person that they have in that room was hung five years ago. Well, we'll go check records on that then. I might give them what they need. Because he's supposed to be dead. Then we deal with someone with necromancy. Cat controlling the dead. Only Jesus can bring up the dead. What time we got? 10.50. You guys want to call it there? Yep. Give me those. With the angry demon guy screaming at you? I was like that. And I just walk out of the door. Thank you, everyone. We will be back next week. Bye. Friday. We're also here Sunday with Tunnels and Trolls. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Enjoy.